and she's fouled before the pass. It'll be on the floor. The foul's on Sophie Strickland. That's her first team first of the half. You know, Sophie just says get a little bit better job getting her feet in the right spot right there to, uh, to cut that uh, Howard off baseline from the way to line. Shot is up, and it's no good. Looks like that was the last, cook, last touch by the Gators, Armani Cook. As ball comes over here to us. Man, looks like we should. We're in the action early tonight, JP. Maybe we can give the ball to Bailey Cofield. Let's see fire up a three. You know, a legendary Lady Spartan Edmundburg basketball player. I would not be surprised since Howard turns and fires another shot. Long rebound back to Howard. And it's no good. Too strong again. Looks like that was deflected off of a Lady Gator. Ball will stay down here with the Lions. That looked like it was maybe a Shantae Nova right there and knocked that ball in. There's number 21 for three. It's no good. Rebound Williford. That's Olsheg with her first miss of the night. Leah Williford bounce pass to Sophie Wall for three. It's no good. Too strong. Sophie Strickland with the rebound tipped out of her hands. Here comes Howard down the middle of the court looking for some help. She can't find it. And that's, that's an early travel. Leah, Leah Williford getting back on defense right there. That's a really good job by her and Sophie, uh, Leah Williford and Sophie Strickland and Sophie Wall getting back on defense to force a turnover. Oh, yeah, that's Sophie Sophie connection. It's, it's going to be good stuff for the Lady Gators going forward. Looks like the Lions pressing up a little bit higher up the court, trying to find some, find an early slot down low. That's Armani Cook for two. Great find by Williford. Cook with an early seven points. Leah Wilford's done a tremendous job the last couple weeks passing the basketball from the point guard position. There's Howard, harassed by Cook. Ball's taken over by Ashante Noble, bounce pass to Strickland, a little too hot. And she steps out on the baseline. That's a turnover for the Gators. It'll be Lady Lion ball heading towards us. As our first substitute comes in the game. That's number 33. That's Corinne standing for the Lions. As Corinne looks to provide a little spark here for the Lions as she gets the ball here, swings it back to number 12. Lady Lions got to cross half court here soon. They just get it across. Ball gets thrown down to Howard. It's stolen by Williford off the right side, goes behind her back. And it's Williford and Howard at the top of the key, over to, over to Wall. Now down to Strickland. Oh, and it's tipped away by Fox Mars, regained by Noble. Out to Williford. Leah Williford directing traffic. Great defense by Howard. And there's going to be a reach foul. That'll be her first on number 22. That's Howard as team third for the Lions. As right. a do-it-all guard for the Lions, steps out. And is replaced by number 10, Sarah Kogler. There's Noble on the block. Getting big, going up, not good. Armani Cook gets the rebound. Out to Strickland, over to Wall. Leah Williford resets at the top of the key. Down to Cook. Shot is up, it's no good. Looks like there was a deflection. And the Lady Lions are out in transition. Lady Lions looking for their first basket of the game. Down to Corinne, shot is up. And it's no good. Looks like it was last touched by Blue. White ball, a lot of action going on here. It is. We've had a, you know kind of a lot of action in this early fourth. The Lady Gators up 11-0 to start this game, and you know doing a little prep for this game. The Lady Lions struggle offensively, so if the Lady Gators can keep the hot start offensively, they can really put some pressure on a team that has trouble scoring the basketball frequently. Williford over to Wall, down to Cook, Cook back to Wall. Oh, and that ball stolen away by number 10. As Kogler regained by Williford, finds Strickland in the corner. Quick entry pass stolen away. That's number 21 out in transition. There's Oschlig. And she kicks it over to Fox Mars. Shot is up. And it's no good. Great rebound, Sophie Wall. But it's fouled by 21. That's Oschlig again. The senior with her second foul. First foul, excuse me. Riley Ray checking in for the Lady Gators. And Mary Mac Powell checking in as well. So now the Lady Gators depth gets to show early in the first quarter of this one. 11-0 Gators lead as Rye gets it over to over to Strickland in the corner. She sets up too strong, maybe had too much time to think about it. And a rebound by Oshleg for the Lady Lions. And she brings ball up the court, guarded at the point by Strickland. Drop down to Fox Mars, the cut, stop and pop. It's no good. 
Over to 33. Shot is no good. Ah. You can hear Coach Dinner really wanting those Gators to get on those, uh, those defensive rebounds, really box out and really dominate the boards, not doing it right now. That's right. You know, even though, you know, one thing you got to understand is a long jump shot equals a long rebound all the time. And, you know, everyone likes to converge on the basket and it puts you in a bad situation. And Fox Mars is good from the strike. And so the Lady Lions are on the board. Remember, all free throws are brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. She goes one for two. Here's Phoebe Mayo over to Olschleg at the top of the key. Over to standing. Back to Olschleg. Olschleg fires from three, and it's no good. Rebound by Strickland. She's out on the break. And that ball gets tipped. It'll stay with the Lady Gators' possession. Coach Jenner really wanting these Gators to fly around. <laughs> yeah, he's, he doesn't like the little lax that's happened here for the last couple of minutes by the Lady Gators. He wants the energy level back up. Well, he wants you to get a rebound, find up, and find a pass. Don't try to dribble through five people. Unfortunately, for Riley Ray was streaking down the court right there, and I'm sure that he was saying, get your eyes up, let's get an easy layup in transition. The ball kicks over to Strickland. Back to Williford. Over to Ray. Defensive intensity picked up for the Lions, down to Noble. Noble power dribble off the glass, too strong. Rebound by standing over to Fox Marge as she brings it up the court. They were looking for the entry pass down low. Gators cut it off, down to Ray. Lee Williford at the free throw line. Over to Fox Mars here on the wing. Fox Mars in the corner. Back to Olschleg at the top of the key. Lady Gators defense intensity really ratcheting it up, really locking it down tight. Good ball movement by the Lady Lions. As it's stolen away by Strickland, just what you wanted. Lay up for two and it's good. Gators come out in their full court press. Number 10, looks like that was a double dribble. Looks like she got away with it. Over to Olschleg, the shot is up. And that one falls. The Lady Lions and Olschleg did it right there. They're not afraid to fire up some three point shots early in this contest. As Noble misses down low. And here come the Lions right back again. That's Olschleg. Down to number 14, that's Phoebe Mayo. Over to Fox Mars. As we're time's running down in the first quarter, it's stolen away. Sophie Strickland with another steal, JP. Listen, I don't know what the school record is, but she's got to be getting close. There's Ashante Noble, easy basket, misses off the left side. And here comes Olschleg and the Lady Lions. Over to Mayo. To Kegler, to Fox Mars, to Standing. Back to Mayo, stolen away by Briley Ray. Great pass. Great job, Briley Ray. The freshman did a good job hopping in the pass lane to get the easy steal and turns into easy offense. Almost paid her into that one. She did. And there's another loose ball picked up by Noble in the corner. She finds Powell at the elbow. Oh, and Powell turns it over. Last second shot from three by number 33. That's Corinne standing is no good. And the end of one, what a hectic first quarter it was. Lady Gators lead 15 to four. Coach, wow, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I bet you are, JP. <laughs> we saw a lot of back and forth action right there. Coach dinner has got the whiteboard out. He's going to talk about, he's going to talk about the, uh, some of the adjustments right here because it looks like the Lady St. Andrews Lions changed their defensive structure out to more of a kind of a 1-3-1 uh, one, one type zone type look, put some pressure on the top of the ball, making sure the ball get moved around, and I'm sure he's really working. He's really working on some better ways. The Blade Gators can get their eyes up to see some passes. Man, what a, what a great, just, it feels good to be back at home. It does, JP. Let's, let's see, we didn't get a warm, we didn't have a little warm up show, guys, so we're gonna spend the first quarter, just the end of the first quarter break, talking about how nice it is to be back here at the field house on West Side. We do love it. We're going, reminder. Mask up, Gator Nation. That's Mask right. Up, Gator Squash Nation. the spread in our swamp, Got JP. Got to do the right things. You have Gotta to. do the right things. We have yeah. to. If we're going, if you want to look back here as the games have gone by, season's gone by flying through, 
Lady Gators are two and one in their last three. Big win over Trinity, 50 to 44 on the road in Dublin. Last Friday, a big home win, 50 to 15 over Lady Crusaders, and a tough loss to Calvary Day School. That score looks a lot better than I think a lot of people would have expected. That, that's 47, right. 47, 34 loss for Lady Gators. That too. is, and you know, the Lady Gators nine games in the season have played some really stout competition as we the second quarter tips off. And we're back, Armani Cook running the point here at the top as Leah Williford gets a break. There's Wall over to Ray. Ray's got to get rid of it. Over to Mary Mac Powell out here on the wing. And she turns it over. It looks like Garris Boykins checked in for the uh, the Lady Gators right here. Ah, uh, yes. The senior had a couple big three-pointers last time in our last home game. Gators come out in their 1-2-2, one, 1-2-2 two, two, one, two, two, full court press. There's another turnover by Wall. And they're going to call a walk on her. It looks like that right pivot foot move just a tad. I couldn't see it from here, but I got bad eyesight too. <laughs> you know? But Coach Dinner, you know, beating his hands, stomping his feet right there, wanted her to get that ball and go. Push it, push it right there. Push it get, and create some easy offense because that's what the Lady Garris have done so well so far as they come out in a 1 3 1 zone. Lady Lions going with a five out set. That means five players outside of the arc as they dump it down low. That's number 25. That's Jackson. Over to 34, over to 10. And there's, there's Olschleg, the fire shooter, turns it over. There's Ray on the break. And the layup is good. Riley Ray with her fourth point of the game. Fourth point, excuse me, for the young freshman. And here we go again. Lady Lions got to find a way to break this press if they want to have any chance of getting back to this ball game. That's not going to do it. There's another turnover down to Cook. Easy layup for Cook. Nine points, first half for Armani Cook. It is, what a great first half, and you know, you're getting it all out in transition, and that's one thing the Lady Gators offense has done so far, storming out of the gate, forcing turnovers, getting easy layups on that end of the floor, forcing another quick uh, St. Andrews turnover. And so Coach Dinner's got the whiteboard back out, he's he's gonna go over some of those things. They did a good job changing the defense out of, coming out of the uh, quarter change as we started the second quarter with the Lady Gators up 19 to four. So, JP, what are some things you're looking forward to see with another great home game for the Lady Gators? Well, you know, I was talking to Coach Ashley Burke before the game, and Coach Ashley said that while St. Andrews is winless 0-4 and on the season, losses to schools like Savannah Christian, Islands, Savannah Christian, and St. Vincent's, all GHSA uh, single-A schools, Islands up there in the AAA quad A ranks. You know, lost to them by 20 uh, a couple nights ago. And uh, she said they're athletic. St. Andrews athletic. Got to get out and run and see if we can get them out, get them down early. That's exactly what the Lady Gators have done. It is. That's what it looks like. And you know, I spent some time watching practice yesterday. And Coach Dinner, the same things we're seeing so far is what he was preaching in practice. You know, transition offense, transition offense. He felt like there were too many missed layups last Friday night and then last Saturday in the tough loss uh, to a very good Calvary Day team. He was ranked in the top ten in single A private. As we're getting ready to start back up here in the sec in the uh, second quarter. And the Lady Lions swing it down low. She's wide open. The layup is up off the top of the backboard from the heavens, and it's no good. She got a little, it looked like a little too much arc on that uh, layup right there, JP. A little, a little too, too much arc on that layup, and it seemed to hit the top of the rim. A little too much bench press this week over there in the Lions weight room. It As is. it goes down to Ray, and it's dribbled off the foot of number 21. That's Olshay. Just a freshman. Just the, a freshman. The do it all, fre the freshman battle over there is going to be fun to watch. It is. You know, Coach Dinner's got a different group on the floor working some different combinations. It looks like Garris Boy can catch it, and she's a hot shooter. She's a little too strong with that three pointer. And the Lady Lions are out in transition. There's the do it all guard for the Lions. That's number 22. That's Howard. Howard's got two fouls. You got to look to go at her when we get the ball. Over to 14. Number 22. That's Howard in the corner, and it's no good. Look good from her spot, but just short. Armani Cook takes the ball up the court. Looks like that ball was deflected. No call though. Looks like it's just gonna be a straight turnover for the Gators. And the Lions will take over. And per COVID, we're changing the ball. Right Man. here in the middle, we got a little ball change in action in the middle of the uh, COVID pandemic world. We switched the ball out. You know, I'm sure Howard, who shot the air ball a minute ago, was happy that the ball got traded out. <laughs> Get that mojo out of there. That's right. It's bad mojo. 
Howard tries to break the press. Breaks one. Dumps it down to Pope. Ball gets tipped away over to Howard. Over to Olschlag. Down to, down to Jackson. Oh, just off the side of the backboard. Rebound by Mary Mac Powell. And it's kicked out to Armani Cook. Over to Briley Ray. The freshman. Finds Armani Cook down low. Just loses handle that dribble right off her foot. Goes out of bounds. Ball, Lady Lions. Great post pass entry right there by Briley Ray. We see it all the time at Leah Williford, but it's great to see a freshman do that right there. There's Jackson, same spot. Same result, just a miss. Too strong, Mary Mack Powell gets the turnover. Gets the rebound, and she's tied up. That's a jump ball. Possession will stay down here with the Lions. Remember, please drop in comments tonight. We love to read those out loud on air when you're watching Gators, the Gators play. Shout out to my buddy Kyler Aubrey texting me uh, over there at the Aubrey household. Kyler, love you, buddy. Uh, Griff Sumner and Lori Mingle say go Gators. Love to see that. Griff Sumner, son of famed baseball coach here at Bull Academy, Michael Sumner. All right. As a shot from Howard is no good. Big rebound by Noble, and she's out on the break. Great transition basketball. Sophie Strickland's up, and the layup is good. Great job on the outlet pass right there to get in down there an easy layup. Ashante Noble, the do-it-all freshman in the low post. Tell me if you've heard this story before. Sophie Strickland with an easy layup here. <laughs> and number, they, number 14, Phoebe Mayo with the, uh, with the shot. Not enough power on it. Rebounded to Noble. Over to Strickland. There's Noble drives. And is too strong. And it looks like a great job by Leo, Leo Wilford crashing the boards right there, forcing, forcing the ball to get knocked out the other way. Good to see Leah Williford back in the game. She's she is, always a blast to The watch. senior is in there taking charge. She's directing traffic as we trade out the ball yet again. You had to go over there, and if you look over there at the scorer's table, you can see uh, Miss Strickland, uh, the scorekeeper, wiping that ball down. As Leah Williford looking for an outlet pass, finds Noble. Noble, long pass to Williford. Williford beats her girl baseline, lays it up for two. Leah Williford, her first points of the game. That's great offensive basketball. Moving the ball, people cutting to the basket, getting the open look, attacking. Great offensive look right there by Coach Center's squad. Big pass over to Fox Mars. Back to Howard. Over to Oshleg. Nice cut, nice pass, tipped away by Armani Cook. Armani Cook on transition. Finds Sophie Strickland. The left-handed layup is no good. Armani Cook with a big rebound to Noble. Ah, uh, shot's too strong. Sophie Wall, great interception. Looking like Jalen Ramsey, and it's turned over, excuse me. Howard gets her from behind right there. She walks it down the floor. It's been a back and forth girls game. You typically don't see these a lot. No, but this both teams like to get up and go. High pace, love, love the action. To Fox Mars at the top for three, and it's no good. Leah Williford with a good rebound. And she pushes off the right side. Noble foul in the basket. That's Noble's first points of the game. 3.29 left in your first half. Gators lead 25 to four. Ashante Noble going to the line with a chance for the old fashioned three point play. As always, these free throws brought to you by Stout House Media. And the Lady Gators are out, up and running here early in this one. Coach Dinner, I know, is going to want to work on some things and see some things getting cleaned up on the half-court offensive end of things and some communication on the defensive side as we get ready to get to the half in about 329 and some change as Ashante makes the free throw. Lady Gators full court press still in full effect as Oshleg breaks it over to number 11. That's a, new, that's a new player. It's Addison Yates to Fox Mars to number 10. That's Kogler. Too strong just off the hands of Armani Cook. Lady Lions get the ball under the basket with a flat four set. They swing it to Oshleg for a quick three. Rims out. Strickland with the rebound. Fighting for it. And it's regained. Lee Williford full court pass to Armani Cook. To Noble in the short corner. It's too strong. Armani Cook, big rebound. Tied up, jump ball. Jump ball looks like possession's gonna stay with the Lady Lions right there. Great ball movement, even though the shot didn't fall right there. 
and people attacking the glass on the offensive ends, which you like to see. Looks like Mary Mac Powell and Briley Ray are back in the game for the Lady Gators. Big minutes for the youngins. This is kicked out to Noble. Over to Williford in the corner, beats her Lady baseline, goes up on the shot, is fouled. But the shot does not fall. Let's see, check who the foul's on. That looks like number 10, Sarah Kegler. I believe that's her first. As Williford steps up to the line for two shots. Remember, all free throws tonight are brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. Email our buddy Jake, and he'll set you up with a great sponsorship to watch these great basketball games. We love to provide for you on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. We're here. We're, We're here. here. Williford's first shot rims out. Second shot is up. And it's good. Rattles in for Williford. The senior's third point of the night as the Gators extend their lead to 27 to 24, 249 left in your first half here at the Westside Fieldhouse. Ball to Oshleg, to Yates. Shot is too strong. Big rebound by Mary McPowell. It's tipped away. Number 10, Kegler gets the ball but steps on the baseline right in front of us. Great call by the referee there. Gives us a thumbs up. We acknowledge greatness in all things. All things. All things. You know what was great last week? Robert Toon's student section. What a great student section. Probably Ray, great cut to the basket. Had to respect it. Um, that was as packed as I've seen this gym in a long time. Uh, what, you know, that was what we call a COVID capacity crowd, JP. A COVID capacity crowd. The CC gym. As Strickland drives and shoots, and it's good. Sophie Strickland continues her hot streak, eight first half points to lead the Lady Gators. Full court press here, ball tipped away by Strickland, regained by Olschleg. Down to Fox Mars, who tries to dump it down to number two. That's Megan Longwater, just checked in. Tipped away by Williford, it'll stay under the basket. There's Oshleg down to Fox Mars. Fight for the ball down low. Looks like they're going to call a reach on 21. That's a Shante Noble. That's her first. I've got that down with his team's second foul of the half. Yeah, that's something you don't typically don't see so far in a very physical game. Sophie Wall going for another steal. Something you typically see on a regular basis every and remember the second quarter she had eight consecutive steals last Friday night in our broadcast. And it's over to Williford and Fox Mars battling down here in the corner. The freshman and the sophomore battling Olschleg and Strickland at the wing. Strickland the sophomore wins that battle but Olschleg recovers it. Ball stolen away by Williford and she's on the break. Leah Williford the right-handed layup and it's good. Fox Mars bringing up the right side to Oshleg. To number 10, that's Kegler. Stolen away by Williford. Lady Gators defense is swarming for the ball. It is swarming. They're jumping passes. It's everything you want to see. And they have a great ball movement with Ashante breaking baseline and missing that layup right there. She may miss the shot, but she immediately plays defense right away. And the Lady Gators back off as they let the Lions bring the ball up the court easily for probably the first time tonight. Strickland and Olschleg at the top of the key to Noble. Defended by Noble. There's a screen. Fox Mars loses handle of it. It's number 11. That's Yates to Olschleg. Pass by number 21. Olschleg is, finds nobody. Turns it over. And that's Possession what Gators. suffocating defense does. You got people who don't know where they should go. You don't know where the ball is getting up going. And that's what we're seeing by the Lady Gators right now. And here comes the savvy vet, Leah Williford. Bringing the ball up the left side. Kicks it over to the left. That's Mary Mac Powell. Great defense by the Lions. And they're going to say she picked up her plant foot and put it back down. Yeah, the old-fashioned travel. Yeah, she slid that back foot a little bit. She was looking around. She was thinking about dumping that ball in the low post to Ashante Noble and just slid that back foot a little bit. Good pressure by the Lions deep. 
Number 10, Kegler, some nice handles over to Fox Mars. To Shegler. Long rebound. Quick tie up, they're gonna call jump ball. Possession's gonna stay down here on the south side with the Lady Lions. With JP here in a few minutes, fans still look engaged. Please stay with us through the halftime. We're gonna get a halftime interview from uh, Coach Ashley Burke. She's gonna join us. So we'll wait around for the next 14 seconds of game action. Exit pass by Williford, slapped away by Kegler. That's number 10. Williford gathers it back. And there's another jump ball, and the Gators will retain possession again. Six point five seconds left. Let's see if the Lady Gators can set up for one last shot. Williford, five seconds off the left side. She takes it all the way. She goes up and she's fouled. Let's check who the fouls on. Fouls on number two, Megan Longwater. That's her first. Team sixth of the first half. Leah Williford goes to the line to shoot two. That's a great job by Leo Williford attacking the open space in the defense and then drawing the foul with the short time left on the uh, game clock. That's a very savvy veteran move by the senior point guard who's done a fantastic job of leading her squad all year with the Lady Gators hoping to get back to 500 with a win tonight. And that last shot, just a little short. You can tell she's getting a little tired to play a lot of minutes. This full court press not only wears out the opponent, but wears out us too. 1.7 seconds left. Ball's tipped away. And they're going to let the half run. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let our friend Andy Woodard kind of sneak over, see if he can get a word from Coach Dennard or Coach Ashley Burke. I'd be willing to bet it's Coach Burke that gives the interview today. Um, I don't know. Let's see who he's getting. I, oh, he's Ashley Coach Burke. Ashley Burke right here. Coach Burke, what do you think about the defense by the Lady Gators so far in the first half? Well, our defense, we kind of switched it up to a man. Help side, helping each other out on that. It's looking pretty good so far. What do you think about the transition offense? Lots of easy layups but for Sophie Strickland and Sophie Wall and Armani Cook and Leah Williford. Talk about, is that something that's been emphasized in practice this week? That is definitely something that we practice every single day, fast break. Easy points from our fast break. We tell them that when running our offense, we don't execute as well. And so our easy points, we don't even have to set up an offense running that fast break. Well, great job. Thank you for joining us, Coach Ashley Burke. Well, uh, good luck in the second half. Well, that, there it is. That's Ashley Burke giving you some uh, some things that she saw from the from the coach's seat in the first half of this big region matchup as the Lady Gators look to go to 2-0. Oh, man. That was fun. That was fun. You know, we're going to go over a, uh, a couple of first half stats here. Uh, your score at the half, Lady Gators lead 32, uh, Lady Lions 4. Um, let's talk about a couple things here, Andy. Sophie Strickland continues the hot streak. Nothing, nothing's really changed there. Uh, Sophie Strickland leading the way with 8 points. Um, followed by Cook with 8, Williford with 2, 4, 5, 6, Riley Ray with 4, and Shantae Noble with 3. All these stats unofficial. Yeah, you know, unofficial stats, but Sophie Strickland really likes being the playing for the home crowd. She she really enjoys being playing right here in the field house on West Side. She, she sees the ball really good, and she's had a lot of good layups. Her and Armani Cook today in transition. You know, I've, I haven't kept up with with uh, assists yet, but I'd be willing to say that Williford has about nine. You know, Williford is on her way to a double double tonight. She's on her way to a double double, and that's what you see when I see from the point guard position. Is you want to see them, turn, you know, you want to see the ball of Trent moved out from the point guard spot, and you're, you're able to really see that so far. A double double with rebounds and assists, not points. Yes. Getting after it on the glass. She is. Your lady defense, the Lady Gator defense has been just stifling today, and it was stifling the last time we had, we all you guys and I were on the air against Robert Toons, where they held the Lady Crusaders over from Lions scoreless in the in the third quarter, and we saw a scoreless second quarter. All right, now some stats for the Lady Lions. The Lady Lions led by number 21 freshman, Stella Olschleg. She has a big three-pointer. Not many points to go around for the Lady Lions. Fox Mars has one, one or two from the free throw line. And you know, I think you gotta really credit the Lady Gator defense. 
They're forcing long jump shots as a point of emphasis on that end, and they're really tough to make. Now, one thing the Lady Lions like to do is they like to shoot the three-point ball. They can get high, and that's something that in a night like tonight when you've expanded such a big lead, you know, now you really pressure them. They have to make those, and when they don't make them, you can get easy rebounds and leads out in transition. That's a great point. Lady Gators defense has been one of the best in the region um, so far. Have to be have to be looking at goals towards you know win another region title for here in the Lady Gators here at the West Side Arena. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Uh, We're excited to bring you the Yikes. We're excited to bring fast. you the uh, varsity boys oh, contest here in uh, not tonight. You're good. Lay it right there, you're good. Thanks buddy. <laughs> had, a, had a little crash course and uh and protection right there. That ball came flying in. Wow. Um, we hope the phone's all right. I don't know about the stand, though. Um, that's why they call it live TV, JP. That's, that's right. why they call it live TV, buddy. And you know, right now feels like a good time to cut to a break. <laughs> all right. We're looking forward to watching the second half. We'll see you here at Westside Fieldhouse back in five minutes.
And we're back. And we're back. Welcome to the field house on West Side. Lady Gators up 32 to 4 as we're getting ready to start the second half with the inbound. No jump balls in the COVID world. Johnny Hood, we appreciate you stopping by. And here come the Lady Lions, that's led by number 10. That's Kegler. Over to Howard. To Yates. To Kegler at the top of the key. Down to Oshleg. Great defense by the Lady Gators. Swooped over to Howard. Howard for three. And it's no good. Rebound by Fox. That's a Fox Mars. Fox Mars. I almost, got, I almost said Mox Mars. That's not right. And she's fouled. I didn't see who the foul was on. It was on, on Leah Williford. That's going to be her first. Fox Mars goes to the line. First one is no good. Fox Mars, one of three from the line tonight. And she's looking to looking to spark a little something for the Lady Lions who need all the points they can get. And their th great three-point shooting team like the Lady Lions are. You have to be ready for them to get hot at any moment. Fox Mars nails the second one. So here comes Williford and the Lady Gators coming right at us. Over to Armani Cook. Dribbles baseline, stopped by Olschleg. Over to Wall, over to Strickland, down to Noble on the block, power dribble, skips it over to Williford, pump fakes, goes up. Great touch around the basket, Leah Williford. That's our first point for the half. That's a senior with a lot of minutes played and a lot of ability that was able to... And there's, there's the old way getting hot. Just like you said, Lady Lions can heat up at any time. Gators got to find, find a way to keep control as the ball's tipped away. Strickland on the ground fighting for it to Wall, to, Will, to, Lil, to Williford. Over to Strickland as it's tied up. That's number 11, Addison Yates. Just an eighth grader, number 11. She gets in there with the scrappy sophomore, ties it up, jump ball possession, Lady Gators. The sub-freshman stepping into the game right there, making, some, making her presence felt. Williford looking for an open pass, finds Noble. She swings it to Strickland. Back to Noble. From the elbow, off the glass, too strong. Strickland with the long rebound, and she's fouled. That's number 11. That's Yates. That'll be her first of the half. Team first. Coach Denner trying to get him in the right play. Williford under the basket. X motion by the Gators. They find Strickland in the corner. Good entry pass down to Noble. Swings it over to Williford. To Noble at the elbow. Shot is good. Great <laughs> offensive basketball. The extra pass always hits, JP. The extra pass always hits. I, I think Coach Dennard's pretty good at this coaching thing. He is. As he Yates, is. the shot is no good. Rebound by Armani Cook, and she's out in transition. One on one for the Gators. There she's it switched. is. Trying to set the extra pass again. Unselfish basketball always wins, and that's why the Lady Gators are up big in the third quarter. Man, make, that gets me fired up, JP. <laughs> They're going to call that foul on Kegler. That's her, that's her second. Team second of the half. X motion again by the Lady Gators. Trying to find Armani Cook on the back door. I think number 10 slipped. That's Kegler, but they're going to call a foul on number 12, Armani Cook. It's her first. Team second of the half. As the Lady Gators got to find a way to find a rhythm. Having trouble finding a little bit of a rhythm here. It is. Sometimes in the half court, the Lady Gators are kind of stalled at times tonight. But that's, I'm sure, something that Coach Jenner spent some time on at the halftime break. Howard driving baseline. Floater is no good. Rebound by Wall. And here comes Williford and the Lady Gators. There's Noble. Stops and pops from the elbow. Too strong. Rebound by Howard. Howard's a scrappy player. I, I like her. She, she's not afraid to shoot the basketball. And she goes inside and mixes up as a guard. One of few upperclassmen on this Lady Lion team as Howard stops and pops the floater, it's no good. And here comes Williford, looks it up, finds Strickland. And Strickland was looking for Cook down there. She was posted up on the block, gets kicked away by 21, Olshley. And that's, you know what we call that? Giving the ball to your playmaker in space, JP. Yes, giving the ball to your playmaker in space, and that's what we got. I think you got. I think you got to give it to him until they just don't want it anymore. Right. That's right. Entry pass by Noble is deflected by number 12. That's Fox Mars. 
and the Gators will retain possession right here in front of the table. Leah Williford, the senior, looking to find a good pass. Finds Strickland at the elbow, stops and pops. Ah, too strong for the for the sophomore. Holschleg with the rebound, gets it to Howard, and here we go, we're off and running. Holschleg, nice give and go with Howard, and Howard scores the layup. That's her first points of the game. Great movement by the Lady Lions there. It is, they spread the floor, got an easy pass right there to Howard, who did a good job of finishing. There goes Leah Williford, dipping and diving through. And I heard that slap from over here, that's on number 22, that's Howard. It'll be her second, team fourth of the half. Leah Wolf for the senior right here directing traffic on the inbound. We always brag on Coach Stinner's inbound sets that he puts in each week. That always seems to get a great open look for somebody. There it is, Sophie Wall in the corner for three. Too strong. Rebound goes right off of Cook's hands. And Coach Stinner gets a timeout. I think he's a little frustrated with the ability of not running the correct play. I think that's the problem. Yeah, I think the girls were a little confused there on the inbounds pass. He definitely gave them the look of, we sure didn't practice this. He didn't even let the bench get involved right there. So Coach Stinner, what you like is a guy coaching with his team up 26 right here, 36 to 10. He's pushing his girls. He says, hey, the result tonight may be already in hand, but we want to we want to play to our standard. And that's what championship teams do. And don't get anything wrong, Coach Tenner is a championship caliber coach. Final four, final four last year, multiple final fours, the state title over there in Sandersville with the War Eagles of Brentwood. That's right. Multiple region titles here at Bullock as both a boys and girls coach. Well-rounded, well-rounded. A well-rounded coach. And we tried to get Coach Tenner at halftime, but he, he told us to pass it on over to let Coach Burke, and we appreciate Coach Burke spending some time with us at halftime. You know, great golfer. Taylor Denner, great golf. Here goes Kegler to Fox Mars. Over to Oshleg for three. And it's good. That's no, a deep two. They changed it to a deep two. Oh, they went to the score deep two. My oh my. Noble from the short corner is no good. Fighting for her own rebound. Picked up by Yates. And here come the Lions, just like that. Hitting some threes, getting some points back. Threes more than two, you keep adding that up. Quick maths. Lady Lions can find a way to get themselves in a more manageable spot. There's Kegler for three. Wow. There's another one. And we told you the Lady Lions will heat it up. You don't shoot that many threes the way they do if you can't really shoot the basketball and they can. Over the wall. You gotta have a score this possession, the Lady Gators do to really Kind of put a band-aid on this little run the Lady Lions got going on. To Noble, to Williford. The return pass to Noble. Back to Williford at the top of the key. Lady Gators reset. Strickland in the corner. Entry pass to Cook. Cook power dribble goes straight up and she's fouled by the eighth grader. That's number 11, Addison Yates. Armani Cook just bigger, taller, and stronger than the eighth grader Yates who's still fighting hard down low. You know, that was a good job of a lot of a lot of screening, a lot of switching going on. You were able to get a great mismatch, the taller Cook on the smaller Yates, and then you feed the ball to the beast down low. Armani Cook misses on her free throw, first free throw attempt of this half. As always, free throws brought to you by Stout House Media. Uh, you see the ad on the screen, email Jake at StoutHouseMedia.com. Sponsorship still available. Coach Cofield, talking to you. Yeah, talking to you. Oh, you're paying. Okay. Okay, I'll pay and put your name on there. Okay. Stolen away by Noble. And it runs out of bounds for the Lady Gators. Lady Lions retain possession. A big half here, 11 points in the quarter for the Lady Lions. Yeah, I told you they could get hot from three, and that's what they've done to start the second half. Full court pressure still here. Oh, almost tipped away by Strickland. Entry pass down low. And they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. Addison Yates steps right on the line. It's a turnover. It'll be possession, Lady Gators. And here comes Williford directing traffic. Looking for the screen. Attacks in. 
Kicks to Strickland, who drives baseline. Oh, too strong. And Fox Mars with the rebound. Pushing up the right side. Looking to find space, there's Olschleg. There's number 33, Corinne Standing, checks back into the game. Over to Olschleg in the corner. Looks like she tried to catch the ball and shoot it before she actually had it. She did, she was a little too quick right there on the gun. And now the Lady Gators, they're getting good looks. They just gotta start finishing at the basket. Finish at the basket. 2.43 left in your third quarter. Lady Gators lead 37-15. Coach Dinner wanted to expand this lead. As Williford out at the top of the key. There goes Williford. Down to Noble, great entry pass. Shot is blocked. Noble goes up again. Great defense by the Lady Lions. And that's just an unfortunate foul by Shantae Noble. Running too fast. Trips into the Lady Lions player, she falls. And that's a foul on her, that's her second. And here comes the sniper, Olschleg. The freshman. Looks like they called an offensive foul on 25. That's Grace Jackson. They called an offense foul. I don't know if that was a moving screen. I didn't quite see it. Nonetheless, that's her first. Team fifth of this quarter. We have another. I mean, we're alternating we're alternating uh, illegal screens right here in the, uh, towards the end of the third quarter. Coach today. Dennard is not happy. He's got the arms crossed, the head tilted. He is not a happy man right now with the five-point production this quarter. The, the goal of the Lady Gators is to win every quarter, and they're not doing it right now. they got to get on a run right here. Sophie Strickland, the defensive specialist, ready to go. Over to Yates. Could have been a five-second call. Down to Fox Mars in the corner. She's got to find us pass. Skip pass it to Olschleg. It's no, can't find anybody. Finds the Sophie's. Sophie, wall to Williford, back to wall. Cook flashing at the top of the key, ball's tipped away. Williford behind the back, goes to the left side, off the glass, and it's good. Great move by the senior Williford as Mary Mac Powell has checked back in. Oh, great defense by the Lady Gators, tipped away by Sophie Wall. Sophie Wall seeing the whole thing transpire, breaking on the ball in the air. That's a great job. And we switched the ball out again, JP. COVID. As the Lady Gators are going to settle on their 1-3-1 one, one defense. If you've been around GSA basketball a long time, you know that Chandler Dinner's staple defense it requires a lot of athletes, a lot of movement. It is a lot of communication, and it really marries well with the man-to-man -man defense. The Lady Gators really like to play in the full court and the half court from time to time. Down to Jackson in the short corner. Her shot is up, rims out. Mary Mac Powell touches the ball. It's slapped off her hands. It'll retain possession, Lady Lions. Fox Mars under the basket. Finds Yates real quick. Yates to Olschleg. You better get a hand in Olschleg. She'll shoot it from anywhere on the floor. There goes Aubrey Wright. Number 10, Kegler with a shot, it's no good. Rebound by number 21, there's Olschleg. Over to Briley Ray in the corner. Loses it, gets a handle back on it, defended by Fox Mars. Williford drives in. Finds Mary Mac Powell from the elbow, shot is no good. And here come the Lions. Fox Mars over to Jackson. That gets tied up, I don't know if that's a jump ball, I think we stole it. But quick whistle nonetheless, Lions keep the ball on the far end of the court. Lady Gators gotta find their own rhythm, gotta find their own pace. Letting the Lions control the pace a little bit here. Also like with the shot, it was blocked. Sophie Wall, or Sophie Strickland, a beast to Briley Ray. Foots on the line, that's a long two. Cook. Goes up, no foul called. Strickland goes up, no foul called. And we got and a ball man. stuck. Andy, go, get up there, go. You got the ups. Get off the table. Get up there, Armani. Armani Cook is a little short on her jump. Let's see how we handle this. 
Oh, we're going to get the ball. I was hoping we were going to go Dunk for it. him, JP. Dunk it, Mr. Ref. Hey. Great job by the ref right there. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. Maybe a, uh, maybe a Coach P assignment right there. He'll go up there and flash back to his younger days. The Lewis was all high school days. The Louisville Academy Red Raiders. Long time ago. That's a throwback. Wow. Only our old heads will know about that one. To Riley Ray. At the top. Over to Williford. Down to Cook. Quick entry pass. It's kicked by Fox Mars. Lady Gator ball down here on the south side of the west side field house. 11.1 seconds left in your third quarter. Really would like to get a quick score right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Really like to get a quick score right here before the end of the quarter. Lady Gators look to be content with the last shot. There's Briley Ray for three. It looks good. And it's good. Gets the shooter's roll. Give Briley Ray all three of those. That's a great that's a great way to end the quarter right there for the Lady Gators. Up Riley Ray, the, the fantastic freshman. Awesome shot. It looked good from over here. And she gets the, the nice shooter's roll, the home court bounce. As it falls in, your Lady Gators lead going into the fourth quarter, 42. Lady Lions of St. Andrews, 17. You know, we talked about it at halftime. You can't let up with a team that can shoot the ball as well as the Lady Lions from St. Andrews can. And they came out and they hit some big shots. You know, Oshweg with Oshweg with seven points that quarter. You got a three from Kegler. You got a couple, a two from Howard. You know, they were really firing all cylinders from an offensive standpoint. We talked about how they struggle offensively, but when they get hot from three, they can really pour it in, pour it in the basket. Let's look to our comments here. Uh, James McKinney says, good luck. Uh, you know, younger brother of former Gator linebacker and basketball player Lines McKinney, now UGA freshman. Uh, Jim Willoughby says, go Lady Gators. Hope they all get to play tonight. Defense looks awesome. It does. I agree. It is, and I think you're going to see Coach Stendrick start unloading the bench with some subs here as he really wants his unit to get a little more cohesive, getting ready for a, uh, a big game this upcoming Saturday. That's when we'll be back together. This upcoming Saturday against Savannah Christian and the Lady Raiders. Oh man, oh man, the big, the big red and white, the skull and crossbones, coming to town. I don't think they're ready for this kind of act. They're not. They're not. As the Lady Lions take the ball out. There's Kegler. Great defense by Powell and Armani Cook. High pass, looking for Oshleg. And you know, we gotta give some criticism to the uh, the officer down there in the corner. Knocked it into the hallway. Man, no hands. No hands, and now we've gotta exchange the ball for COVID reasons. Maybe you shouldn't know. have touched it with his hand. Maybe should have trapped it. Maybe should have been a soccer play over there. Get Owen Anderson down there. Maybe he'll do something with it. And we got a sub. Cook out, Ashante Noble in. That's nice. An eventful six seconds of the fourth <laughs> quarter already, JP. Must be nice to be able to just take out a Shante Noble and then just throw in a Marnie Cook. You know what I mean? Must be nice. Lady Gators blessed. Strickland's trapped in the corner. She's got to get rid of it. Stolen by Olsleg. Recovered by Strickland. 34 shots. Shots up and it's good. The quick trigger by freshman Morgan Rule for the Lions. Scores her first basket on her first shot. Coach Sender's not happy. He went full time out right there. We, you probably could hear that on the live stream. He's disappointed about the way the Lady Gators have kind of eased down the intensity of this ball game after starting out so strong to start the night. Oh, back to our comments we go. Josh Davis, shout out to Coach JP and Coach Woodard with the 100 emoji. Here's I think that means. Says shout out to Coach Woodard. Harrison Wren stopping by the table, friend of the show. Thanks, you. It's a, uh, I tell you what, I wish we had a band. Get this gym really, really rocking. A pet band? Just like a, like a band. Like give, give me a couple tubas, a couple drums, a couple of trumpets. So you want a pet band? If that's what, you, I want, want the Southern Pride in here. The <laughs> Southern Pride, yes, I, I would be in on it. Great job by the cheerleaders tonight. They have been wild in this game. They have. They have. Courtney, have. Courtney Burnett does a great job. She does. Courtney Burnett does a great job. And so does her mother. Kim Burnett. Kim Burnett. They do a great job with the Lady Gators getting the crowd fired up. Reduced number of cheerleaders due to COVID capacity. So they're doing all they can. 
and we'll restart this quarter, almost like we're starting the fourth quarter over again. And here comes Williford. Maybe the Gators have a newfound energy. Lady Lions really harassing the Lady Gators. Sophie Wall breaks the press down to Mary Mac Powell. And it's no good. Lady Gators got to find a way to get rid of that pressure defense from the Lions. To 34, that's rules. To Kegler. Between the legs. Ball tipped. Over to Fox Mars for three. And it's good. Lady Lions really playing tough. As the ball goes down to Mary Mac Powell in the corner. Powell to Strickland. Back door cut to Williford. Great play. Nice seal by Mary Mac Powell. The layup is no good. And the foul. Leah Williford goes to the line. That shooting looks like two. 34. That's Morgan Rule. That's going to be her first. Leah Williford steps up to the line. These free throws brought to you by Stout House Media. And it's good. You know, one thing you can always count is a Chandler Denner coach team will, will shoot well from the free throw line that Lady Gators have so far tonight. They better. They're going to run a lot of practice. He incorporates that into conditioning. Williford second shot up, and it's no good. I'll take the blame for that. Bailey Cofield's over here telling us we jinxed the free throw shooter. You know what? We jinxed it because we didn't mention our friends at South House Media. That's why we jinxed her. I don't think we mentioned that sponsorships were still available, too. Kegler to Olschleg for three. It looks good, and it is good. Man, she's caught fire. As the defense team is really pressed up, Rules falls down. Powell, the pass to Strickland. Down to Williford. Williford spins and wins. Shot is blocked by Fox Mars. And the ball will stay down here with the Lady Gators. The yeah, action sure has ramped up here in the fourth quarter. The intensity and the time. The Lady Lions know they're getting short on time as we get closer and closer to the end of this ball game. A lot of movement here by the Lady Gators. Finds Noble as the outlet. Williford shot, it's good. And the seniors kind of putting the offense on, the, on our back right here as we get started. And this one, the press goes back in for the Lady, the lady Gators. They're pressing as they get a turnover. There it is right there. You've got to be able to, uh, you got to be able to handle the ups and downs. Every game's got it, you know? Sometimes you're going to do good, sometimes they're going to pick up the pace a little bit, but you got to be able to handle it all. Ball swings over to Wall. Backdoor cut, Strickland. Nice ball movement. The layup is good. Sophie Strickland. I believe that's her first basket of the second half. There's Kegler. She's trapped in the corner. Ball's up. Looks like that was a walk. There it is. Fox Mars travels. Like I said, you got to dribble and move at the same time. Can't just move and not dribble. That's exactly right. But that, that Lady Gator defense is ratcheting up here in the fourth quarter, really pressuring them and creating some set. Maybe we've got a smile from Coach Dennard over there right now. He's happy about the way things are looking. Williford, Cook checks back in. Ball goes to her in the corner, guarded by Rule. To Wall, to Noble. A lot of confusion by the Lady Gators. Backdoor cut again. Bounce pass through traffic, no good. Olschleg picks it up and she's on the run. Olschleg. The leading scorer for the Lady Lions gets the ball on the wing, looks for a shot, fakes, kicks it to Kegler, to Rule, to Fox Mars for three. She made it there last time. Can she do it again? She can. Fox Mars two for two from behind the arc this half. And the Lady Lions slowly but surely chopping away at it. Lady Gators got to find a way to get a basket. Kick is to Noble. To Armani Cook for three. And it's good. We're going to give Armani Cook all three of those. Armani Cook gets the shooter's roll, the little home, the little home court bounce. Looks like she shot on these goals a couple times. She has. And, and then there's... she forces a steal. Nope. Can Noble save it? She can, but it goes right to a Lions defender. Tussle on the ground. Oshleg kicks it to Kegler. Long pass. Intercepted by the Gators. Gators need to slow it down as Williford 
heaves it down low over to Noble. Great pass. That's beautiful basketball. That's the softball, all state softball player, Leah Williford, showing off the arm strength to Armani Cook. The extra pass, I love it. Absolutely incredible powder puff football player, too. Leah Williford, star quarterback. I'd take her right now. She have any eligibility left. <laughs> As Kegler shoots for three, it's no good. Air ball. And they're going to call that foul on Leo Williford. That was, a great, not, that was a great box out. I'm not sure if I agree with that. I, I don't, I'm not a ref. I don't know much. But I don't think that was a foul. You know, if our friends from Robert Toons were here, they would have let the, they would have let the official know about that one. A lot of subs coming in for both the Lions and the Gators. Number 22, Howard. Number 33, Standing. And number two, Longwater check in. Oh, and number 14, Phoebe Mayo for the Lions. As number 15, Riley Ray. Number 13, Mary Mac Powell check in for the Lady Gators. Howard falls to the ground. Standing at the top looking for a pass. Finds Howard. Goes to the left side. Floater. And it's good. As Armani Cook brings the ball up for the Lady Gators. Switches over to the left side. This is down to Mary Mac Powell from the block. Not enough power on it. Rebound Longwater. Out to Howard. Howard's been in foul trouble all game. Let's see if she can get something going. Long three. Whole lot of air. Here comes Sophie Wall. Great pass right there, Sophie Wall to Armani Cook for the layup. Lady Gators really using their depth. They're going to call a reach in on 13. That's Mary Mack Powell. I've got that down as her first foul. As number five, Garris Boyk, and number 14, Valerie Jenkins check in. Jenkins making her first appearance of the night. Kicks out to Howard, can't handle it. Looking for Corinne standing down there in the corner. A little miscommunication. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Things are getting a little sloppy while subs come in and out for both teams. Who can focus in for the last two minutes of this game? Oh, Armani Cook shakes and bakes. She was going out for the layup. And there's a block. That's a foul on number two, Megan Longwater. That's her second. Was not a shooting foul. Ball will be on the floor. A lot of crossing movement for the Lady Gators. Finds Mary Mack Powell for an easy two. Another one of those patent great inbound plays for the Lady, the Lady Gators run. Cross action to get an easy layup. That's Powell's first buckets of the game. Pass a little long, long water dives, saves it. Over to standing in the corner. Finds Howard, Howard fires from three. Hits off the top of the backboard. And there goes Armani Cook. Just as easy as you like it. Just as cool as the other side of the pillow. It is, what a great pass leading her right there by Briley Ray, great assist by her. We got a quick timeout, looks like to get some subs in. I think uh, number four, Jordan Talby checking in. And uh, number 20, Caroline Baird. Gators extend their lead to 28. Here in the, uh, in the fourth quarter at Westside Fieldhouse. It might not have always, it, it might not have always been pretty for Coach Center's squad today, but you got a big reach of win at home is what you're expected to do against a team that, you know, struggled out of the gates 0-4, but you were able to get the job done tonight. And, you know, you got to celebrate all the wins and you got to, they're easier to coach off of. That's right. You can always, it always feels good coming back to the gym the next day after a run. Feels good coming to school. But Coach Dinner, you get he you know he will hold his girls there on the floor right now. Even though he has a few subs out there, he will hold them accountable for what they got going on. So a lot of freshmen on the floor. A lot of freshmen on the floor with a senior. Very young crowd. Jordan Talby, freshman. Riley Ray, freshman, Valerie Jenkins, freshman, Caroline Baird, sophomore, and senior Garris Boykin on the floor for your Lady Gators. Kegler looks for the shot. This is it to rule. Back to Kegler. Down to Fox Mars in the corners for three. That's her first miss from behind the arc of this half. 
Looks like that ball was tipped off of number four, Jordan Talby. Lady Lions ball. Over to Oshleg, down to Rule. Can't handle it. To Jenkins, to Ray. Riley Ray bracks it out, tries to set up a play. Jenkins, top of the key, swinging it around. That's Boykin to Jenkins. Jenkins stops and pops, finds a zone. Ball goes through the hands of number 20, Caroline Baird. And here comes Kegler to Yates, to Rule. She lowers the shoulder, drives in. Layup is no good. Rebound by Boykin. Ray slows down the tempo, trying to get the Lady Gators in the right play. To Jenkins. Return pass is blocked, but then stolen away again. That's number 21. That's Olshig. That is her second. Team seventh in this half. Over to Kegler. To Olshi. Shots up. Too strong. Rebound. Fox Mars lays it in for an easy two. 15 seconds left. Your Gators leading by 26. Andy, I think it's a good time to determine our uh, our Stout House Media player of the game. My vote's going to go to Armon Armani Cook. What, have yourself a nine, Armani Cook. 16 points. 16 points for the fabulous sophomore tonight. Several big layups in transition. Great defense, several steals. Big win for the Lady Gators to up their ante to 2-0 in the region. Go ahead and get that big head start in region play. And there you have it, Armani Cook, the Stout House Media girls basketball player of the game. Unofficially, 18 points? 16 points. 16 points, a bunch of rebounds, a bunch of assists. We can only keep up with points and fouls over here on our table. But congrats to Armani Cook. And the Lady Gators 2-0 in region play. Your final score, Lady Gators 58, Lady Lions 32. We sure hope you please stick around with us as we get ready to tip the boys game tonight. As we get ready to tip the boys game. Uh, as we get the Pinewood coaching staff here to scout the, scout the matchup. No Tuesday night for the people in Belleville. They are uh, obviously in some quarantining issues. A little, uh, little Coach Tatum action. Yeah, a little Coach Tatum in the house scouting the girls matchup for both teams. I'm uh, sure she filled up some legal pads about all those different defenses and transition offense, all those great things we saw from Lady Gators tonight. Remember, Amani Cook with a great night. Leah, 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 Leah Wilber with a great night. Sophie Wall with a great night. Sophie Wall with a great night. All the Lady Gators, great night. Uh, only one, two, three, four, five, six total fouls on the Lady Gators tonight. Great defense. Eight different scores for the Lady Gators. That, that was a big, that's a big key going forward for them. A lot of different scores of the basketball. They've done a fantastic job tonight. Coach Sinner, I know his group's happy with the big 58, 32 win. Please stick around. The boys game's gonna tip. In about 13 minutes, JP and I will uh, take a quick break and we'll come back and preview that boys matchup. Boys pregame show coming to you three minutes till tip. And we'll be back.
Welcome back. We're ready for the tip of the boys game. The Gators are on a little bit of a skid here, a little five-game losing streak. They're looking to break as they're looking to notch their first win in region play against a very, in the words of Coach Chance Cofield, scrappy St. Andrews team. You know, if you look at their record, they're one and four, but they're one and zero in the region where it counts. They've got some tough losses against Jenkins High School, Savannah Islands High School, Savannah Christian, and then that tight loss to Memorial Day. And we're ready to go. That's number three, Zaire Edwards with the ball to get started. Very athletic team, very scrappy, plays very hard. That's number 11 with a three-point basket. Zion Griffin's basket's no good. Put that good by number 34. That's Ben Bingley. We got to box out better than that. Rodney Hill brings the ball down the floor. They're going to come out man-to-man -man defense. Rodney swings it to Cam. Cam attacks baseline, feeds the low post. Chaz Collins is good off the glass for two, and we're off and running. Edwards swings it. And that's 22 with the bank in three. Ethan Bland, and we got, and it's a 5-2 Ryan lead to start the game. This is kind of what we expected. Two tough matchups. Still no Ryan Swanson. If you're looking for him, he'll be back on Saturday. But Coach Cofield is back. Miller Pope gets the ball. At the top of the free throw line, he gets a couple of dribbles, swings it to Rodney. Rodney Hill attacks the hoop, and he's going to draw a foul right there on 11. 11, that's Griffin, that's his first team first. A little early hold for the Gators here, five to two. Gotta find an easy basket here. Inbound play, swings out the chassis, he feeds Miller in the low post. Miller swings it to Bo Spence, the senior. Attacks the rim with the left hand, he goes in. What was the call? I think we got. I think we have an official timeout right there. They're going to call a charge on 13 Rodney Hill, and he didn't even have the ball right there, Jamie. Yeah, I don't think that's correct. Oh, it's on five, Bo Spence. Yeah, no, we changed it up. The foul's on number five, Bo Spence, and that's the correct call. That's what they're going to go with, and we're going to switch the ball out. Exactly one minute in the game action. Also, is the score five to two? It is. The bank in three. Is going to make the score. The bank in three by uh, Bland makes the score five to two. Wow. The full court press got a trap in the corner. Ball gets back. Yeah, back court violation. Great defense right there. Cam Harrison, Rodney Hill forces Griffin to, for, excuse me, forcing Edwards to slide into the back court. Rodney Hill's going to take the ball out. Rodney Hill is going to swing the ball in. Bo Spence is going to bring it down the floor. The senior, he goes to the left-hand side. He makes an errant pass, and there's a turnover. Gators. One thing that Coach Cofield talked about was an early start, JP. 
I'm not sure if this is the early start he was looking for. Gators got to find a way to get in the rhythm, get their passes moving, got to break down this tough St. Andrews defense. There's Edwards, the electric point guard, attacking the rim. He's contested by Chaz. And a great hook shot right there by Kurgeon. Kurgeon with a great hook shot, and the lines are up. Their bench is feeling it. Rodney Hill attacks again. He, that ball gets knocked out. Bo Spence gets it. He's going to feed Cam Harrison. Cam Harrison's 18-foot jumper is no good. Great box out right there by 25, Kenji, as he box out Miller Pope. Edwards gets it. Griffin's going to travel. He, he moved a little quicker before he was able to put that dribble on the ground. 7-2 Lions to start here at the field house on west side. Rodney Hill to Cam Harrison. Harrison's going to walk in on the floor. Looks like we get a kind of stack of motion alignment as both teams. Cam's ball gets knocked away. Cam with a rejection on the steal. Man, what a play right there by 22. Bland, who swings it. He swings that ball to Edwards, and that's a quick timeout. A very, very quick timeout. My coach Cofield unhappy the way his team's come out of the blocks tonight, JP. Lions playing with a lot of energy right now. Gators got to find a way to get fired up and match it. Lions bench is fired up. Their fans are fired up. Gators coming out a little flat. Got to find a way to get some early baskets, get some momentum back on the white side. Got to, got to get it rolling for these Gators here. Coach Cofield talked about it over and over all week to his team when I was able to meet with him and, and the guys earlier this week. They're a scrappy bunch. They're going to play very, very hard. Don't let their record fool you. Well, they're 1-0 in the region with a huge 63-49 win against Frederica last Friday night. So the Gators have got to make their own breaks here to break the five-game losing streak. What's one of your quick keys, JP? Got to be able to score baskets in transition. If we can get out and run, I think the Gators be in a good spot. We showed that a lot in Robert Toombs last Friday night against a very athletic team. Wow. Wow. Rodney Hill with a great move. And he shoots in the three. That's a deep two, they say. They're going to wave it off, call it a deep two. Rodney Hill shot's good. Griffin for three from the far side. He's off the front iron. Cam Harrison with a rebound, and he's going to push it. There's some of that transition you're talking about, JP, as Cam goes coast to coast. His shot gets blocked. It gets the rebound good. Miller Pope right into Rodney Hill's hands. Rodney Hill's going to feed Chaz on the low post. He backs down. He turns back, and his banking shot's good. You got to love that from Chaz Collins. Yeah, Chaz Collins pushed in Bingley. 22's got it. That's Bland. Bland's pass is rejected. Spence gets it. He's going in transition. He's got the numbers advantage, and he tacks the rim, and it's good. And the Gators have quickly cut the lead to one. Edwards down the floor quickly. He's going to spot and shoot a three. It's off the front iron. Cam Harrison with another rebound. He's going to push it down the floor. Gators can take the lead here. Miller Pope gets it, swings it back. Bo Spence is going to attack baseline, and he's blocked right there by 22 Bland. That's his first team first. So no Ryan Swanson again tonight. He'll be back Saturday due to COVID protocols. He's not ready for competition, but he's ready to be practicing out of the team, and he was back yesterday. A couple of subs in. That's 13. That's Roland Mills. Is in for the Lions. Bryce Clifton in for the Gators. He's going to push it back to Bo Spence. Bo Spence gets caught in the corner. Miller's pass a little errant, misses him. That's 10. Livingston attacks the rim, and he's, he's going to miss it, but he draws a foul on Miller Pope. That's going to be his first. Just like you said, Lions super aggressive. Gators got to find a way to get control, only down one, trying to claw right back into it. Livingston, Livingston with the gym completely quiet, bounces at once, and is going to shoot one that doesn't hit anything. So maybe the quiet gym scared or spooked Livingston a little bit. Wow. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Jazz Collins checks out. Cam Harrison, Bryce Clifton, Miller Pope, Rodney Hill, and Bo Spence on the floor for the Gators. Livingston's next shot is no good as well. It's a little strong this time, overcompensating. Cam Harrison with the rebound to Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill to Bo Spence. Spence gets it. He's trapped in the corner. He's looking for some help. And he travels in the corner. You know, a lot of energy we talked about being a tough road team, and that's what the Lions of St. Andrews are. They're a very tough matchup on the road team. Edwards brings down the floor to the sophomore. He gets in some trouble. He's going to find 13 at the top of the key. That shot's no good. 
It's tip no good. That ball bounces in between Rodney Hill's hands. That ball's on the floor. Another shot so good, Bryce Clifton gets it. He's going to push it down the floor. Fouls on 13. Samuel Roland Mills. That's going to be his first. Quick note on Bryce Clifton, the leading scorer Saturday night with 28. Wow, the sophomore had him a great game at Calvary Day, a very tough GHSA opponent. Bo Spence gets it, a little 2-2-1 two, two, half-court press, and that's going to be a hand check called on Will Livingston, the senior point guard. 6-1, 180. So a very long, athletic St. Andrews team. Comes into the field house on west side. Rodney Hill gets it off the inbounds. Bo Spence gets it to Bryce Clifton. Clifton sets up for three. His three is off the back iron. Kim Harrison. The other side of that foul is on Miller Pope. I don't know if I agree with that. Says he pushed, he pulled the guy to try to get leverage for the uh, on the box out right there. Gators down one nine eight three forty four in county in the first quarter. Bo Spence closely tied up with Livingston. All right, back to thirty four. That's Bingley. Bingley gets it across the half court. Thirteen's in the corner. Rodney Hill steals it, steals the pass. Cam gets it, swings it to Rodney. Bryce Clifton gets it. He attacks the corner. He's that ball's not loose by. Rollinson Mills, his pass is going to be no good for Edwards and his Gator possession once again. Man, going up and down, up and down. Not a lot of points scored here in the last couple minutes off to a super fast start. Game's kind of settled in. Both teams really fighting hard on the defensive end. It is. All right, Hill goes to Spence, back to Hill. Bryce clicked him for three. He's off the front iron a little short. Edwards, he's an electric point guard down the floor. We've seen one of those last Friday night. Edwards shot's no good. Bryce Clifton's rebound gets taken from Edwards. Edwards scoop shot's no good. That foul is going to be on 25. King G. It's going to be his first, JP. Yes. That's yeah, his first. Bryce Clifton. Scrapper. He is. Scrapper. He's scrapping. He's playing really good basketball, playing really big minutes to sophomore. He is for this senior laden team. All right, Spence to Hill. Hill's going to walk it on the floor. There's two guys on this 2-3 press, it looks like. Man to man, now it transitions to a man to man. Miller Pope gets it. He's going to pass it to Cam. Swings it to Spence. Swings it again to Bryce Clifton. To Pope. Pope pops and shoots it. He banks it in from the elbow. And the Gators get their first lead of the night, 10-8. They hit quickly. Oh, Edward, Miller Pope gets some hand on that ball, but Kenji draws the foul instead. The power forward, the senior, is going to draw some contact on that quick transition basket that's no good. And so now the Lions look to retake the lead. I got that down as Pope's third early foul. Not good for the big man. King G swishes the first from the Terry shot. Remember, all free throws tonight brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. The Lions are going to check in. 33, sorry, he didn't make our roster. Must be a new addition. Must be a new addition. Edwards and Griffin are on the floor. The two big 33 gets the rebound. His putback is good. And that's a three-point play right there. Coach Cofield is upset with Cam. He says, you got to box out. Olin Anderson's on the floor. Olin gets the ball. He's going to swing it. Bo Spence, four guards, one big for the Gators. Cam Harrison's the big. Spence gets it. Clifton drives in. Oh, he makes a quick pass off of Olin Anderson's hands, and it goes out of bounds. Lions up 12-10 with 2-11 to go in the first quarter. Gators really struggling to find a rhythm here, trying to find an offensive balance, trying to get the right pieces on the court. Gators having a hard time right now. Edwards gets it. He's calling. He's getting to direction. He gets the screen. He's going to feed Bingley. That ball is stolen by Rodney Hill between the legs. He's going to attack right here in transition. He did doubled. He swings Bo Spence. Bo Spence steps into a deep three. That's a little short. That ball gets knocked out. Edwards gets the uh, cling off, and he brings it on the floor. He's got his eyes up. Olin Anderson's guarding him at the top of the key. Edwards, he gets a screen. 33 gets it. No one's got him. And that's an easy layup. Pick and roll situation right there for the Lions who extend the lead to four. Hill walks it down the floor. Now he's going to push it a little bit with a more pace as he crosses the half-court strike. 
He breaks down. He attacks the hoop. Rodney Hill does, and the layup is good. That's a great take, Rodney Hill. Love to see that. Griffin gets it quickly. The Gators aren't in trans getting out in transition. Bo Smith with a block. And the Gators are off with Cam Harrison in transition. Cam with the left hand layup, no good. Edwards gets a rebound, fights it, wins it over. He is going to attack. Olin Anderson cuts off, and he's going to get called with a foul right there. Uh, I think Olin tried to get away with one there, couldn't quite do it. They're going to call the foul on him. 101 left in the first quarter. St. Andrews up 14 to 12, back and forth, back and forth. A couple of subs looking to check in after this first free throw by by Edwards. Remember, all free throws brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. Please. We want some sponsorships. As Edwards is too strong on the first route throws. The senior, Tyler Wilvan, the senior, Chaz Collins is going in. Bo Smith is going to check out with 101 left. Kim Harrison also checks out for the Gators. Tyler Willoughby, QB1, checks in. Edwards' shot is good. And Bingley's going to check in. For 25, King G. And it's a 15-12 lead for the Lions. The Gators can tie it on this trip down the floor. Tyler Wilby's going to bring the ball down the floor. The, the senior. Guarded tightly. His pass is intercepted. Griffin's got it. Griffin's layup is good. Willoughby's going to get the inbound. He's going to attack. He loses the handle. He still gets it. He's going to drive down the floor looking to feed the low post. That ball is knocked away by Bingley. Very aggressive hands on the defensive ends by St. Andrews so far. Gators got to be able to beat their man in this man-to-man -man defense by St. Andrews. Having a tough time right now. 17-12, 35 seconds left. Owen Anderson gets the ball on the inbound. He's going to feed Bryce Clifton, who drives baseline, and he gets pushed. That foul is going to be on 22, Ethan Bland, the junior. I tell you what, this team, this, both these teams playing hard right now. They really are, but you would expect nothing less from a big region game in which the Gares are looking to go to one and one and get back into the region race. And St. Andrews really hoping to separate themselves. So the sophomore, both, excuse me, the sophomore Bryce Clifton is at the line shooting two. Remember all free throws brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. Clifton's free throw is good, the front end of the one and one. Remember, high school rules have changed this year. 16 fouls equal a one and one, and 18 fouls equal the double bonus. And we reset those every quarter with 34 seconds left. We'll reset those back to zero. Clifton's free throw is no good. The ball is knocked out. They're going to say it's knocked off Chaz Collins. He shakes his head in disagreement on that one. Nope, they're going to say white ball now. White ball, Tallahoe is going to bring it in. Got to find a basket here. Tyler Wilby's directing a little bit of traffic, moving some people around. They give him the ball. He's going to feed the big man, Chaz Collins. That ball gets knocked out. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. Bryce Clifton, and it goes in. They're saying that foul's on the floor. And they called 33 on that. 33, spicy, just like cinnamon on that foul right there. He is. So now we got another one and one attempt. That's number 10's going to check in. That's Will Livingston, the senior point guard. He checks in for the Lions. So one and one for Bryce Clifton from the free throw line. You got to make the free ones. Free beans. Clifton's free throw is good, so he's going to shoot another. Remember, all free throws brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Lions 17, Gators 14. It's a live ball. The referee's reminding all players on the floor on Bryce Clifton's shot from the free throw line here. Clifton's shot is good. And it's a two-point lead for the Lions. Edwards gets it. He's going to swing it. Griffin's got it in the corner. That ball gets swung to 33. Tyler Wilby gets his hand up. That ball gets blocked by 34. Number 10 gets it. He swings it to Edwards. Here we go. They're going to hold for one shot here with 10 seconds left and counting down in the first half. Edwards attacks the rim. And they're going to get a hand check right there. They're going to get a hand check right there on Rodney Hill. His first foul. That's his first. And there we're going to shoot one and one on this end now. Edwards makes the first. 
Chance Cofield disagreeing with the uh, with the th with the thought that they're in the bonus already. But I have it now for six fouls. That puts them in the bonus. Edwards is going to shoot the second one. Remember, all free throws to House Media, and Edwards makes both of them. Chance Cofield disagreeing with these refs like salt and pepper. Like salt and pepper. BJ Jolle is in. We got short time, 5.3 seconds left. And the ball gets rolled down the floor. Rodney Hill takes it. He's going to swing it to Clifton. Clifton's going to fire for three, and it's no good. And it gets knocked out of way. 34, Bingley knocks that ball away. And the score at the end of one, St. Andrews 19, B.A. 15. So this game has kind of lived up to the billing in the first quarter. The Gators did not get off to the fast start that Coach Cofield wanted. Ah, back and forth. Started off quick, kind of lulled back down. Now it's picking back up. And uh, Gators are in a dogfight here. St. Andrews, very good team, coming off a big win at Frederica, 63-49. It's hard to win down in St. Simons. It is hard to win down in St. Simons. The Gators coming in the matchup tonight, four and six, losers of their last five. Coach Gofield's looking to right the ship, I'm sure. His team is still down, minus their point guard, their preseason All-State point guard. And I'm sure he's Ryan Swanson. I'm sure he's hoping to get back on the win column tonight with a big region win here at home, the field house on West Side. We appreciate all of you watching tonight. We're up to 26 fans. Please log in. Watch all the great action happening here at the field house on West Side, this big region matchup as we begin the second quarter of play. Let's look to our comments real quick. Howard Neesmith said, all right, varsity boys, let's break this curse and start a winning streak. I think tonight's the night. Kyle Chambers, this JP guy knows his basketball coach in the making, I feel like. Uh, if you can figure out how to run the option in basketball, that's what he wants to do. He wants to see the midline sit and pitch, you know, Terrence Hennessy, Pat Collins type offense. Um, Luke Willoughby, some quality commentator right there. We I appreciate it. You. We appreciate it, Luke. We Lucas, appreciate it. Luke Skywalker in the cut. We appreciate you, brother of Tyler Willoughby. That's right. All right, so Bo Smith is back in the game. He's getting inbound the ball. He's looking for somewhere to go. It's a full court man to man situation. Rodney Hill gets it. He's getting trapped. And that foul looks like it's going to be on 24, B.J. Jolly. That's going to be his first as we reset the fouls now. And so the refs are calling it tight, which is a good thing. We don't want this game to get out of hand, too much collision. So Rodney Hill's going to walk the ball, walk the ball down the floor as he crosses the three-point line as he gets ready to get guard by Holly. Rodney Hill's going to get a screen at the top of the key. Bo Spence is going to set for three. He airballs that one. That ball is off of Cam Harrison on the rebound, and it's going to be line ball. Man, Bo's got to get more jump in his jump shot, using too much arms, coming up a little bit short. Maybe get a little bit higher up in the air, and maybe those baskets will start falling. Uh, Jolly is going to walk it down the floor. He's guarded by Bo Spence. He picks the ball up. It goes to Griffin. Griffin's going to Chaz Collins. He's going to attack. Cam Harrison can test at the rim. That ball is knocked down. Bo Spence is going to grab the rebound, and then he is quickly fouled by 24, B.J. Jolly. BJ gets quick, two quick fouls right here in the second quarter. Coach Cofield's telling him we gotta spread them out, he says. Rodney Hill gets the screen. He swings it to Cam. They feed the big man in the low post. That big man's Chaz Collins, and he is fouled. He's gonna shoot two from the line now. That foul's on number 10, Will Livingston. That's his second, team third of this quarter. And so we have played less than one minute and we've already got four fouls this quarter. Chas Collins, the senior, is gonna shoot from the line, shoot two, and he makes the first. Nice, easy stroke from Chas as he makes the first. Remember, all free throws to South House Media. Keegan Kinjay checks back in, along with the point guard, Edwards, the sophomore, for the Lions of St. Andrews. Chas off the front iron. That ball gets rebounded by 25, Kinji. He swings it to Edwards, Edwards is attacking. He's gonna, oh, he fakes the shot, he gets it at, he gets it in the corner. That ball gets swung again, swung again, baseline 34. That ball gets tipped a little bit, it looks like it goes in, Bingley's shot goes in. Hill brings it down the floor, across the BA logo. Rodney Hill attacks, he's gonna swing it to Bo Spence. Bo Spence, he attacks, he swings it to Rodney Hill in the corner. Hill, Hill's pass is knocked out of bounds by Livingston. 
as he tries to feed Cam Harrison in the low post. So Hill's going to inbound the ball. Looking for somewhere to go. He, get, he finds Bryce Clifton. He goes to the big man, Chaz Collins. He's looking for somewhere to go with the ball. The big man says, I'm too far away. Don't feel at home up top. Rodney Hill is going to penetrate down inside his. No good. And they get him for a charge. That's Hill's second. Keegan Kingji gets called for the charge right there. Rodney Hill shakes his head in disagreement right there. Olin Anderson checks in. He's going to get Rodney Hill, who's second foul. Happens at the 632 mark of the second quarter. Edwards is going to walk it down. Oh, the ball goes right there to the low post. That's a great pass. King G's layup is good. That's too easy. Gators can't give up easy baskets. Olin Anderson gets the ball. He's looking for somewhere to look in. He swings it to Bryce Clifton. Bryce Clifton is going to feed Cam Harrison low post. Bo Spence is going to attack now. His floater is off the front of the rim. Bryce Clifton's pass is knocked out of bounds as he aggressively tries to undercut the pass to Griffin. Six minutes left to go in the second quarter, 23-16 St. Andrews. Shots just not falling for the Gators right now. They keep shooting these open shots, they'll go in the hoop. Edwards walks it to the benches. He steps and pops a deep jumper, and it's good. That's a 20-foot jump shot, and it's good. The lead is nine for the visitors from St. Andrews. Bo Spence is going to drive in. That foul's on 11. That's Griffin. That's hand check on Griffin. His first. That's his first. We're going to be shooting the bonuses here quickly again in the second quarter here, it looks like. Should be close to it. Bryce Clifton's looking for somewhere to go. He finds Owen Anderson. Olin Anderson swings it to Cam Harrison. He goes baseline. He feeds Chaz Collins. His layup's too strong. Off the glass. Edwards is pushing on the floor. He swings it to Ken Livingston. He feeds the low post. That's 25. King G's no good. Griffin attacks. His layup is no good. Chaz Collins gets a rebound. He's going to swing it to Bo Spence, who swings it to Cam Harrison. And the Gators are going to push it on the floor this time down. There's a block this time as Cam Harrison attacks the rim. Cam Harrison's going to shoot two with the foul from 25. Keegan King G, the senior. That's his second. Should be one and one. Or no, I guess they're going to call it a basket uh, in the motion of shooting, so he'll be shooting two. Cam Harrison's going to shoot two. He had a big night here well, last time we were on the broadcast against Robert Toombs, the senior, on senior night. I know Coach Cofield's looking for a big night from this senior again tonight. Cam Harrison's a little short on the front end. Miller Pope checks back in. He's going to get out the senior, Chaz Collins. Pope got to be careful here three. Three fouls. Gabe Bernhard is in for the Lions. Along with 33. Sorry we don't have his name. If you're watching there in Savannah on Wilmington Island, please let us know who 33 is. Cam Harrison's free throw is second attempt is good. And the lead is eight. Griffin's going to get it. He's baseline. He looks at the basket. He goes it back to Edwards. Edwards is directing some traffic. Guarded by Olin Anderson. who runs through the screen. His three is no good. Barnhill is going to be out of bounds trying to save the loose basket. Owen Anderson looking like he's up to the task tonight. Defending that quick, flashy point guard. That's Edwards from St. Andrews. Tough task for Owen Anderson. It is a tough task for Owen Anderson. Cam Harrison brings it on the field. Guarded by Griffin. He swings it to Bo Spence. He swings it to Owen Anderson in the corner. Owen feeds Cam Miller Pope in the low post. He's doubled. That pass intercepted by Edwards. Edwards brings it on the floor. He's guarded tightly. And they're going to get Olin Anderson with a hand check right there as he kind of pushing him down the floor. They're saying the foul is going to happen on the floor. As 22, Bland checks in, gets Olin, Griffin out. Olin's got to keep his hands down off of him as they're running in transition. Just run hip to hip, keep your hands up. There won't be a foul called. That hand check they're going to call every single time. They are. The officials have let everybody know how we're going to play tonight. It's up to the teams to adjust. What team adjusts is the best? Rodney Hill's back in for the Garrison. Well, he's going to guard Edwards. 33 gets it. They're going to hand it to 22. Bland. Bland goes to 25. Kingji. Barnhill gets it. 
There's a 33, back to Edwards. Edwards is gonna take a shot. That three-point shot is gonna be no good. Rebound, Cam Harrison. Big rebound. Rodney Hill swings it to Cam. Cam looks to attack. Rodney gets to the top of the key. Shot fake, between his legs, he loses the handle. He recovers it, he attacks again. Rodney Hill's gonna go in tight, and that layup is good. Great job, Rodney Hill attacking the lane right there. 25, King G in transition again. Gators looking a little slow, getting back in transition on defense. Three-point basket appears to be good. They're saying the basket counts. They're saying the basket counts. And I'm, we're going to say the foul looks like it's on 33. And it's going to say Gator possession. This could be a great swing, a great swing of events right here. The Gators get the basket. It counts. Scores 27-22. And it looks like they're trying to add on more right here, JP. Well, you know we're going to give that all three of those to Bryce Clifton. Rodney Hill's going to spot for three. Six-point possession for the Gators on this trip down the floor. His three is good. Rodney Hill, give him all three of those. Bryce Clifton and Rodney Hill are going to double. 33 gets it. He attacks the lane. His floater is off the front iron. Rebound, Bryce Clifton. And the Gators are going to tie it or take the lead on this possession. Behind the back. Bryce Clifton attacks the lane. They're going to say it's a charge on Bryce Clifton. 25, Bingley, that's like his third charge of the half. We'll Did check the replay. Ah, uh, looks like he had his feet set. Bingley. Might be selling a little bit with a big yell there as he gets contact. Nonetheless, he gets the call. First foul on Bryce Clifton. Edwards gets it right here. The coaches are looking at the fouls because I think we're going to shoot one on ones quickly. 25 gets it. It swings to 22 in the corner. His three is good. Bland's three is good. And now it's a five point St. Andrews lead. Rodney Hill pushes it on the floor quickly. He is stolen by Edwards. Edwards looks for some contact. His layup is good. Number three initiating contact there. I don't know if that's legal or not. Rodney Hill getting hand checked by Edwards. Rodney Hill at the top of the key. And they're going to get Edwards this time as Rodney goes right at him. That's Edwards' first foul. And they'll Ed be shooting one and one. Good right, call on that, Andy. Yeah, both both uh, teams are looking to uh, maybe catch their breath right here on the front end of this one and one Remember, all free throws brought to you by South House Media. I'm sure for the next two minutes and 41 seconds, you'll get to hear our sponsor of the free throw line with both teams in the bonus. Please email Jake at Stout House Media. We'd love to get your, your business on the stream. A lot of people watching, a lot of people tuning in. Would love to get any sign of business on here. Anderson's General Store, maybe. No, Anderson family, loyal, loyal supporters of the Gator Nation. All right, Rodney Hill's first free throw attempt is good. He gets the shooter's roll. All right, Rodney Hill's going to second. The officials telling him it's going to be a live ball when the ball is over the cylinder. And Rodney Hill's free throw is second attempt is good. So it's a 30. 2-27 lead for St. Andrews. Edwards attacks. He swings it to Bland in the corner. Bland's got the hot hand, and he airballs this one from the other side of the floor. Bryce Clifton's going to get pressure. He swings it to Cam Harrison. Cam attacks. Cam uses the strength. Cam uses the strength right there and makes the free, and makes that shot, and so it's a, a uh, 29 points for the Gators. They're down 32-29 with 2.23 left. That's a smart timeout by Coach Cuffer. Don't you agree? I agree. Kind of a lot of emotions running high. Settle yourself in. It's a one possession game. See if we can get a stop, get transition, maybe get a three, get a two, bring it down to one. Gators can really cut this lead down right before half. They are. You know, we know the Gators don't quit. We saw last Friday night, if you watched our broadcast, if you watched our broadcast that the Gators came from multiple deficits against a very top-ranked Robert Toombs Crusader team, and they matched them basket for basket. So you know that they'll uh, attack all night long. 
two things about the St. Andrews team. St. Andrews coming up from the double-A ranks, coming into the triple-A ranks. Uh, the double-A boys runner-up last year. Uh, made it all the way to the state championship game in the Storm Dome. So this is a very talented team, very well coached. Um, and they're coming here looking for a big win, falling to fur top prep in the final last year, 57-52. Really good basketball being played down in, uh, in St. Andrews. It is. They've got a great tradition of the boys and the girls teams. Gators looking to snap it up here. They are. Both teams fighting for jockeying for position in region play. All right, Edwards is going to get it, and he's going to walk it down the floor of the sophomore point guard. From St. Andrews, he's directing traffic. We got some motions. Griffin gets it. He's guarded by Clifton. The scoop shot is good. That's a nice layup move right there by Griffin. Can't give up the baseline if you're Bryce Clifton there. Rodney Hill gets it, guarded by Edwards. They're going to get Edwards again for a hand check, and Rodney Hill's going to shoot another one and one Remember, 18,000 a quarter. That's a double bonus. No, and then they're going to say that's he's going to shoot two. He, we're in the double bonus now. Man, that'll be uh, Edwards' second foul. That's something to look at here as we move forward, maybe into this later in this quarter, into the second half. Rodney Hill's free throw is good. Nothing but net. All free throws brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. Rodney Hill, 12 first half points. Big half for the junior. The junior's looking to be aggressive. That was one thing Coach Coastal talked about. He wanted Rodney to be aggressive, attacking the rim, and Rodney's second free throw is off the side. Cam Harrison with the rebound. He's going to find Bryce Clifton. Clifton steps into a three. It's no good. Ball gets knocked around. And they're going to say blue ball. You love the attacking mindset from Bryce Clifton, really stepping it into, into that three and firing it up. It's a little too strong for the sophomore. Edwards walks the ball down the floor, crosses the Bullock Academy logo, is going to direct traffic. Ball goes to Griffin. Griffin's looking, he's going to look. Edwards gets it now. Edwards spots up, he's going to find Griffin in the short corner. Griffin's going to swing to the top of the key, that's playing. Playing three is off the, off the glass, no good. Cam Harrison gets the rebound, he's going to push down the floor. Blue Spence attacks the rim, that ball is blocked by 25. Kingji. 33 loses the handle, he finds it back. Now his ball is stolen by Kent, by Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill's by himself. Rodney Hill's layup is no good. He was looking for contact from Edwards, and Edwards gets the rebound. He's going to push it. He's got a numbers advantage. He swings it to Griffin in the corner. And Griffin bombs in a three. St. Andrews takes a timeout with a seven-point lead with 103 left to go in the second quarter. Your score, St. Andrews 37, Bullock Academy 30. A little bit of sloppy ball handling right there seemed to have led to a couple of quick turnovers. You got to wonder how much uh, you know Gators play Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, three games, five days. That's a lot. You got to wonder how much fatigue may be settling in here. Got to dig deep though. Region game doesn't really matter. Coach Kofa, what's he saying in this timeout, JP? He's saying you got to get a stop. Got to got to match up on defense. Got to find your man better. Got to find him quicker. Because we can turn the ball over. We can create turnovers. We've proven that already. We just got to get into our spot, get there before they do, force them to a bad shot. All right, here we get ready to go. The officials blow the whistle, and we're getting closer and closer to be ready for action right here with 103 left in the second quarter. St. Andrews 37, Bulk Academy 30. Rodney Hill's going to get a dribble. He's going to walk it down the floor. They're going to spread the floor out, it looks like. Rodney Hill's guarded by Edwards. Cam Harrison gets it. Edwards is going to steal it from Cam. Edwards, his layup is good. It rolls off the rim, and he's in. It's a nine-point St. Andrews advantage now. Got to be a little bit more careful with the, with the rock Cam here. loses it again, loses the handle of it again. Edwards now gets it. All right. Edwards is pointing around maybe one shot, he's saying. Rodney Hill's trying to get the uh, five-second count on him as he guards him. That's number four. His three-point basket is no good. Bland. Floater is good. It's an 11-point advantage with nine seconds left. Eight. Bo Spence brings it across half court. Guarded by Griffin. Bo Spence. 
Bryce Clifton three, sorry, excuse me, is no good as we go to the half. Your score is St. Andrews 41, Bullock Academy 30. As both teams jog past us, headed to the uh, locker room at halftime. So we got a tough region battle like we expected in, in the first half, JP, with an 11-point advantage from the visitors from St. Andrews. Tell you what, we knew they were going to be athletic. We knew it was going to be a tough game, and it's, it's proven every bit to be that. St. Andrews got great coaching staff. Got five coaches for varsity basketball staff. They're doing a great job. Boys got to come in. Gators got to come out with some fire here in the second half. They do. The Gators have been a great second half team all year long, and so I would expect nothing to change here as they uh, as they look to kind of get things picked up here in the second half. Going over some live stats here as we're live on the stream. Um, you know, uh, Bo Spence with two, Rodney Hill with 12, Cam Harrison with three, Miller Pope with two, Chaz Collins with five, and Bryce Clifton with six. Because um, we have some strange visitors we do. coming we, up to the table. We do. We got a uh, couple of Bulk Academy legends, nah, Carter nah, Snipes nah, 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 and Harrison Kennedy. A couple of guys. A couple of dudes. Looking forward to soccer season. <laughs> Neither one of them plays soccer Neither this Neither one time. of them plays. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll see you with the second half action very shortly. Your score of the half, St. Andrews 41, Bullock Academy 30.
Welcome back. We got a little bit of one minute left and some change left before we head to the start of the third quarter. The Gators down 11 at home in a tough region matchup. Looking to go one and one in region play against a very tough opponent, the defending double-A state runner-ups from St. Andrews. JP, a couple of uh, first half thoughts. There's some keys to the second half. Keys to the second half. Gators have to be able to get out and transition and break down their man defense. They're playing tight, they're playing high. If you can get past one, you know, you got a lot of space, backdoor cuts, giving goes, to and fro's, here and there's, you know what I mean? It's open, it's there. Absolutely, absolutely. With 30 seconds left before the second half starts, you know, some key things that uh, I'm sure Coach Cofield really reiterated many of the points that you just made, all right, as he gives this guy some final maybe points of encouragement and coaching points before we get started in the second half. It looks like it's going to be St. Andrew's ball to start the second half, according to the possession era. All right, the Gators are going to be on the floor with sophomore Bryce Clifton, senior Bo Spence, senior Miller Pope, senior Cam Harrison, and junior Rodney Hill. For St. Andrews, it's going to be 34, Senior Bingley. Sophomore Zaire Edwards, the transfer from Bethesda. 22, Bland, the junior. 25, the senior, Kingji. And 11, the sophomore, Griffin. We're ready to go, but I think we're waiting on one of the officials. I think he may have stopped off somewhere. Nope, we got all three officials. And we're looking at the clock operator, and we're off and running. Edwards gets the ball in the backcourt. Guarded by Rodney Hill in the forecourt, man to man. Ooh, maybe a little push off there on Rodney. Got to watch out for that. Griffin gets the ball on the wing. He's going to feed the big post play at the top. He swings it back to Edwards. Edwards is looking for a cut. Got an offensive foul on St. Andrews. Looks like 22. That's Bland. That's, That's his third. Bland's third fouls are going to be an important part down the stretch for both of these teams, I believe. Both teams having a lot of foul trouble issues. All right. Bo Smith will walk the ball down the floor for the Gators. He's going to be guarded by Griffin. Smith swings it to Rodney Hill. Back to Smith. To Bryce Clifton. His ball gets knocked away by Bland. Bland steals it. Edwards gets it. He's going to push it in transition. He swings Griffin in the corner. Griffin's jump fake's no good. Bland's going to spot up for three. His three's off the back iron. Cam Harrison loses the grip. That ball rolls around. Ball's laying on the ground. Everybody's trying to find it. Right? Edwards gets it. He's going to feed Griffin. Great vision by Edwards as he feeds Griffin. Cam Harrison's going to bring the ball down the visiting side of the floor. He swings it to Rodney Hill at the top of the key. Rodney's going to penetrate. His layup is no good. And they got a block. That's 25 Bingley. Excuse me. Yeah, 25 King G. Sorry, King G. That's his third. Yeah, King G's trying to draw another one of those charges. He's a charge drawn master, it seems like tonight. I tell you what, you play with fire, sometimes you're going to get burned. And that's, that's what happened with him. Rodney Hill makes the first free throw. He's going to shoot two here. Remember, all free throws brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. A great Tuesday night crowd at the field house on West Side watching this tough region matchup. The officials remind everyone to please tuck those shirts in. Yeah, do it the Gator way. Not the right way, not the wrong way. The Gator way. That's right. Ronnie Hill's going to get ready. He bounces up once, spots up, and his second free throw attempt is good. Edwards gets it. He pushes it down the right-hand side of the floor. He's going to feed Bingley. Bingley turns. He swings it to Bland. Bland. Oh, Ooh, could have been a walk. Bland to Edwards. Edwards spots up for three, and it is good. Edwards is a very good player. The sophomore, the transfer from Bethesda for St. Andrews. Cam Harrison is going to get it. That ball is knocked out of bounds by Bingley, and they're going to say it is. They're going to say it's Gator ball. All right, we're going to switch out the ball as it got knocked in the trash can. Does it count as a basket, JP? The Maybe ball getting away in the trash can. Might be plus one to the refs right there. Miller Pope gets it. He's going to spot up. He's off the front iron, no good. Edwards gets it. Off the rebound. Cam Harrison with a steal. One of those 
That's a great adjustment right there. Millipope gets on the wing. He's looking for something. He's guarded closely by 34. Bingley. Ball gets swung around. Bryce Clifton loses the handle. Bland gets it. Bland's being trapped. It goes to Bingley. Bingley's going to find Edwards. That's a smart play. It goes to Griffin in the corner. Griffin's shot fake. He pulls the trigger. He airballs a three. Bryce Clifton gets it. Now he's off and running. Bryce Clifton's going to attack the rim. His lap is no good. Griffin's got it. Two on one. Bland shot fake, and he's going to travel. He moved a little quick right there after the shot fake. I tell you what, I don't think there's a guy in the GISA who pulls up from three quicker than 22 Bland from St. Andrews. He does. If he sees any speck of orange on that rim, he's going to pull up and shoot it. Samuel Roland Mills checks in the game for St. Andrews. Bo Smith's going to walk down the floor. Gators are down 14 in desperate need of a basket here. Spence drives in. He is fouled. That's 25. Kingji. His fourth. St. Andrews got a decision to make. 33 is going to check in. You know, the Gators have feel, I feel like that was one of the Coach Goffo's points of instance. Attack, 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 attack. Attack those bigs. Miller Pope gets out off the inbound. He's looking for He finds Bo Spence. Bo Spence pops up. His 22-foot jumper is no good. Bo Spence is up with the rebound. Miller gets it, swings it to Rodney. Rodney Hill's going to spot for three. It is good. We're going to give Rodney Hill all three of those. Big three-point game from Rodney Hill. Edwards is going to walk in. He stops at the logo between the legs, between the legs again, and now he sits up on the Gatorhead logo. Looks for a screen, and he misses, communicates with the pick-and-roll partner right there at 33. That sometimes happens when you get a new transfer in. Chemistry's not always there. Got to work on it a little bit. All right, Rodney Hill gets it. He goes to back to Bo Spence. Bo Spence walks across the BA logo now. He goes to Rodney Hill, guarded by tightly by Edwards. Edwards has been in his lap all night. Rodney Hill gets at the top of the key. He's going to spot for three again, and it's good. Rodney Hill filling it. Give him all three of those. That's his third three-pointer of the game. Gators inching closer. 33, ball gets stripped. Bo Spence has the numbers advanced. He feeds Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill's life is no good. Rodney Hill then steals it. He's feeling it. Bo Spence attacks the rim and is fouled by Samuels Rollins Mills. Rodney Hill's in the zone right now. The Gators are trying to just get him the ball. That's Mills second. Those are what, JP, four or five quick fouls right here? Four or five quick fouls in this quarter. And the sophomore, Bryce Clifton, makes the first free throw. Remember, all free throws are brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. The sophomore, hands on his knees. He's waiting the ball from the referee to shoot his next free throw attempt. He's got one more shot. He gets it, bounces it once, bounces it twice. Shoots it. And it clangs in good. All right, Edwards is going to get it. The bench is telling the, the guys on the defensive end to get fired up. Bo Spence, 33, gets in the low post. His shot is good. Nice hook shot by 33. Sorry we don't have his name. Miller Pope gets it. He's going to feed Cam in the low post. Cam loses the handle. He finds Miller Pope. Pope, no good. Off the glass. Cam Harrison with a rebound. He's jumped up. His no good. Miller Pope with another rebound down the side. His fadeaway is no good off the back glass. Bingley with a rebound. He pushes it. Edwards gets the numbers advantage. Edwards is going to set for three, and he swishes it. And he's got a quick timeout. The lead still 11 for the visitors from St. Andrews. Every time it looks like the Gators can claw their way back in, the Lions find another basket, find another three, kind of keep that lead, keep them at arm's length. Gators fighting hard, though, cutting down this lead. It is. That's a full timeout, so both teams are going to grab a seal on the bench here. Full one minute, 60 second timeout. The cheerleaders are telling everybody on the BA side to get fired up. All right, JP, what's going on in that BA huddle? I think if I was Coach Cofield, you got to say you got to lock in on defense. After you get a score, you got to lock in. Can't allow, can't just go basket for basket all throughout the rest of this game. Gators got to lock in on the defensive side and really get better shot selection. They've done a good job here in the third quarter, but right there, that long strain of shots and misses and shots and misses, maybe kick it back out, reset, 
get everything back under, back under control. We're attacking the bigs good, getting them in foul trouble. I think, uh, I think this sets up nicely for the Gators going down home, the home stretch here. I agree with you. I agree with you, JP. Are we looking for a great second half of action? The Gators down 51-40 with 3.48 left to go in the third quarter. It is going to be Gator ball. Gator legend Forrest Spence in the building. Three-point sniper, good to see you. And welcome home. All right, Ronnie Hill's going to get it. He's going to walk it down the floor. He's going to, of course, be guarded by Edwards. Edwards has been in his head pocket all night. He crosses Edwards over. Rodney attacks. Ball goes by his place. He lays it in. What an NBA play by Rodney Hill. That fellow's like it's on number 10. That's Will Livingston, the senior. That's his third. All right, Rodney Hill, the three-point play the hard way. Rodney Hill is strong off the back glass. Bingley gets the rebound. He feeds it to Edwards. Edwards down the right-hand side of the floor. Guarded by Hill. What a great matchup those two have been against each other tonight. Man. All right, the ball gets swung to 10, Livingston. Livingston is getting guarded by Olin Anderson, who checked into the game. 13, Roland Mills. A little bit of a confusion right there. That foul looks like it's going to be on. That's on Bryce Clifton. It's on Bryce Clifton. That's his second. The I sophomore's think, playing big minutes tonight for the Gators. I think team first or second of this quarter. All right, Griffin checks back in for the Lions of St. Andrews. 33, sorry, we don't have his name. He's going to inbound the basketball. All right, he's going to feed Edwards. Edwards attacks the rim. He's going to feed the big man who loses the handle. Miller Pope with the steal. Ball goes back to Cam. Cam to Rodney. Back to Cam. To Olin Anderson. Cam gets it. He's looking somewhere to go. Olin's looking. He scours it. He's going to feed Miller in the low post. Bryce Clifton, backdoor cuts, no good. They're going to say that Bryce misses the layup, gets it on rebound, steps on the baseline. Turnover. Great backdoor cut by uh, Bryce Clifton there. Great ball movement by the Gators. Just stepped out of bounds. All right, Edwards is going to walk down the floor. Edwards played a lot of minutes tonight. She would think he's going to start being a little maybe winded. But he hasn't showed any Ill, Ill effects on his jump shot or his way to control his team. Edwards is going to go around. He's going to set up. He swings it to 33. He's going to spot up for three, and he makes it. All right, the lead is now 12. Bryce Clifton gets it from Rodney Hill. The sophomore penetrates again. He's going to go in, and he is fouled. Bryce Clifton, not only is he a great shooter, but he's a, he attacks the basket really well, doesn't he, JP? Yes, he does, and that'll be the first foul on Bingley. As the Gators probably getting close to the bonus or the double bonus here, but Clifton shoots too in the act of shooting. All right. Remember, all free throws have already by Stout House Media as the as the sophomore splashes in the first one. Bland checks back in. And he makes both of them. Edwards gets it. Goes to Griffin. Bland's going to spot up and shoot a long three. It clings off the iron. No good. Griffin with a rebound. It goes back to Bland. Bingley, he shot fakes. And Edwards is saying, hey, hey, big man, give me the ball. Let me set us up. And that's what he does is Edwards is directing traffic. Edwards passes a little too strong for Bingley, cutting to the basket. Great defense that time down the floor for the Gators. Gators in the bonus here, six fouls for the Lions this quarter. Gators only one team foul this quarter. So Gators can attack the hoop, get some early easy Owen baskets. Anderson back to Rodney Hill. And of course, waiting on him at half court is Edwards. Rodney, they're gonna get Rodney Hill for a carry. That's a call you don't see that often. You sure don't. Especially in high school basketball. But the turnover nonetheless. All right, Edwards gets it. He's going to spot up for three at the top of the key, and it is good. Rodney Hill brings it down the floor for the Gators. 
Looking to get something going right here on this possession. Bonnie's going to step up. Jump shot is no good. Edwards gets. Edwards is going to get the outlet pass to Bingley. Edwards to Bingley to Bland. You better get a hand in Bland's face. Edwards gets it again. Goes to Griffin. Griffin guarded by Olin Anderson. 33 gets it, swings it back to Edwards. To Bland. Bland from the top of the key. Off the front iron. Bland sees it again. Misses again. Cam Harrison with a rebound this time. Rodney Hill gets it. 108 and counting in the fourth, third quarter of action from the field house on west side. Cam Harrison gets it. He's going to feed the big man inside. They're going to call an offensive foul. What was the call there? They're going to say is, is, he, is he too big and too strong? Chaz Collins, I think the rest of you need to quit doing power cleans. Less than a minute to go. Gators down 12. Need to stop on this trip down the floor. Edwards is going to walk it down, looking for some instructions. 33 gets it. He's going to hand it to Edwards. I mean, excuse me, hand it to Griffin. Griffin attacks. His scoop shot is good. Great move inside. Weaving around Cam and Chaz Collins. All right, Rodney Hill works it down. Gators down 14, 58-44. Rodney Hill steps into a three. It's off the front of the rim. Bryce Clifton with an offensive rebound. His floater is no good. Bingley with a rebound. Bingley hands it to Edwards. And they're going to say they're going to hold for one shot here. Caters need a big stop here. Can't allow Edwards to get to the cup or stay open from three-point line. All right, Edwards guarded by Rodney Hill. Rodney looking for the five-second call. There he gets it. Edwards attacks. He steps out. Bland steps into a three ball, and it's no good. All right, ball goes out. 1.3 kicks left in the third. Let's see if the Gators can pull off something here. Rodney Hill's going to heave a three-quarter shot. It's going to be no good. So your score at the end of the third, St. Andrews 58, Bullock Academy 44. Both teams are pretty aggressive that quarter up and down the floor, just as we saw in the first half of this point. The Gators have been averaging them either 14 or 15 points per quarter so far. They've got to seem to slow down Edwards. JP, what's your suggestion for Coach Cofield and his crew? Number three is the key. Number three is the cog in that wheel that makes them go. If number three gets hot, that St. Andrews offense is going to keep rolling. If we can kind of shut him down, Rodney Hill's doing a great job so far. Um, we got to fight a little bit harder over screens, in my opinion, but I think we'll get there. I, I think that just comes into the point where, you know, third third game in five days, legs are a little heavy, boys were a little tired. Coach Cofield is trying to get his boys fired up and uh, ready to rock and roll for this fourth quarter. It's going to be a great fourth period here at the West Side Fieldhouse. Yep, and the yellow britches over there is point guard Ryan Swanson, who's out again tonight. Due to some COVID protocols, he'll he's returned to practice yesterday and can return to practice again tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, and he's eligible again to return on Friday. All right, Gator basketball here as we begin the fourth quarter. All right, the Gators in a big eight-minute minute period of time. All right, Bo Smith is going to run the ball right here, right here in your living room. This Gator offense is uh, is capable of dropping 20, 25 points a quarter. Let's see if they can figure it out Rodney here. Hill directing traffic. Guarded by Edwards. Rodney Hill to Bryce Clifton. Clifton to Rodney Hill. Rodney steps into a three ball. It's no good. That ball goes off for Spence. Edwards gets it. Manny is smooth. Edwards got the numbers advantage. Oh, Cam Harrison with a steal. What a play. Rodney Hill gets it. He gets it again from Cam. They're going to swing across the court. Bryce Clifton. Bryce Clifton backs off, guarded by Edwards. Going to drive in. His shot's no good. He gets his own rebound. He finds Cam. Goes to Bo Spence. Bo Spence attacks the lid. His shot's no good. Shots just aren't going in the cup for the Gators. Bland gets it. He calls for it. He's going to swing Griffin on a nice cut to the basket. All right, Hill brings it across half court quickly. Gators looking for some momentum right here in the fourth. He crosses Edwards over. His floating lane is no good. 
Offensive rebound. Cam Harrison steps into a three ball. It is good. It's his first bucket of the half. Tell you what, Rodney Hill about slid number three right in your, uh, right in your living room, folks. That's right. Edwards gets the ball across the half-court logo. He gives it to Bland, to Bingley, to Griffin. Back to Edwards, who steps into a three ball. It is no good. Cam. Cam gets it. He's going to feed Bo Spence. Spence to Rodney. Bryce Clifton steps into a three. It's good. And the Gators have cut it to 10. With 6-11 and going. Here we go. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Starts with a stop here. Starts with one. Edwards is going to walk it to his coach, get a little bit of instruction. Guarded by Rodney Hill. He's going to get a screen. And the pick and roll is going to be blocked. By Cam. Miller saves it. Bo Spence is going to get it. He swings it. Price Clifton. Bryce Clifton's left-handed layup is good. Just and as the, easy as you like it. And the Gander faithful on their feet. A little run and a little bit of life in the fourth for the home team. I told you this Gator offense capable of doing anything they want to. Scoring about 20 a quarter, 25. Baskets are falling straight through that cup now. It's looking good. Coach Cofield says this now. They're now informing Coach Cofield it's a full timeout. You got the time. You got the time. All right, they're informing him it's a full timeout. So he's giving some instructions. He's also a little bit of coaching being done by the point guard that's on the sideline, Ryan Swanson in the yellow britches. He's, he's, he's legit. He is easy to see tonight. Easy. He is legit. He may not be in the white home unis, but he is very active with his team. What a great leader. What a great leader. I think the kid, he's coming. I think he's really earned the respect of this locker room, this team. They just know how hard he works. He's in the school at 6.15 every morning. Coach Copeland has come here and unlocked the gym. And he's in there just grinding, working on handles, working on passing, getting shots up on the gun. Ryan Swanson, a true teammate. True teammate. All right, the Gators are feeling it a little bit like Owen Anderson's going to check in. So a four guard look for the Gators here with 540 left to go in the ball game. All right, so Bingley's going to feed it to Edwards, who's going to walk it down the floor. Edwards is having himself a night here at the field house on west side. He's going to get another screen. They're going to feed it to Bingley. Bingley looks, is looking. It goes to 10. That's Livingston. Livingston to Kenji to Bland. Kenji's got Rodney Hill posted up. Bland steps into a three ball. It's no good. Off the top of the backboard. Gets knocked around. Cam Harrison's layup is good in transition. And the Gators have now cut the lead to six with 5.05 left. Edwards is getting some instruction from his coach. He's going to get a screen. Rodney Hill's guarding him tight. Livingston goes to the lid. Livingston, they say, steps out of bounds. And the Gators are going to get the ball, forcing a turnover. Got to know who's on the court here. 25, Kenji is down low. Got to attack him. He's got four fouls. He's not going to be able to play very aggressive. Get him out of this game if you're white. Got to drive to him, create a foul, get some contact, right, get so him on the bench. A four slash five guard lineup for Coach Cofield's team. Rodney Hill loses the handle, gets it back. Guarded closely by Edwards. They're going to swing it to Cam Harrison, who steps into a three ball, and it is good! Going to give Cam Harrison all three of those. Gators on fire right now, cut the lead down to three. 427 left, 425, and the whole fan is getting fired up. Maybe a little defense chant. Kingley gets it, Livingston gets it. Livingston. screen. Livingston gets it, he attacks the rim. What a great move by Livingston right there, guarded by Owen Harrison. He attacks the, he attacks the lid. He gets fouled by the senior, Olin Anderson. He's going to shoot two to hopefully put a Band-Aid on the bleeding that's going on for St. Andrews. Their lead was at 116. Down to three. All right, Livingston, the senior point guard, is going to step up. His first free throw is good. Remember, all free throws are brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. That's his first points of the game.
Livingston, second free throws off the front of the rim. Fight for the ball. Livingston is going to get it. He's going to feed Edwards, who steps into a deep three, and it's no good. Bland now gets the long rebound. Goes back to Livingston. Livingston's trapped. Bland gets it. He goes back to Livingston. Edwards says, hey, let me get the ball. Let's slow it down and set something up, and that's what we got. Cam is going to guard Edwards this time. Edwards behind it's the back. It's a moving screen. Edwards gets it. He's initiating contact. All right, that foul's on Bryce Clifton. I don't know what Bryce Clifton's supposed to do there when three sticks of four. He's literally behind him. All right, so it's going to be St. Andrews ball under the basket. Edwards is getting him on the ball. He feeds Bingley. Bingley swings out to Griffin. Griffin's going to pull it out to get her head logo, walking almost all the way to the scorer's table. Griffin's one on one with Olin. He's going to cross it up. He looks to go. He's going to take a fadeaway jumper that's going to be an air ball. Olin Anderson with the rebound. He's getting trapped. He finds Bo Spence. Spence is going to push it. Bryce Clifton gets it. He attacks. That ball is not. King G with the block on the other end in transition. Edwards has it now. He's going to cross half court. He's at the top of the key. Guarded by Rodney Hill now. All right. And St. Andrews will take themselves a timeout to maybe draw something up right here to hopefully extend their lead. They're leading 61-57, 3.05 left in the fourth. That's a good timeout. That's a good timeout. Settle everything down, make sure everything's right. And uh, here we go. Man, we're, we're look like we're set for a great finish here, JP. Yeah, going to be a heck of a uh, heck of an ending here. I mean, what a, a, a truly a special night here at the Fieldhouse on West Side. Man, we are glad to be bringing you tonight's ball game. We hope that you at home are on your feet, like the cheerleaders are telling the home fans to do as we get set for the last three minutes of game action. A back and forth affair. St. Andrews is led by as many as 18 tonight. And now their lead was cut to three, and now it's back to four. All right, Edwards ah. gets it. Edwards got the number advantage. Bland gets it. Kingley. Kingley's looking somewhere to go with the ball. It goes to Kingji. Kingsley's guarded tightly. He finds Edwards. The senior point, the sophomore point guard's always in the right spot. Edwards drives, his floater's off the side of the rim. Bryce Clifton gets it. Bryce Clifton's gonna slow it down, guarded by Bland. He's getting trapped. Yep. Griffin thought, Griffin thought he really had, he really knocked the ball loose right there, but there was a little bit of contact on the sophomore. Griffin, that's his second. That's his second. All right, the referees are asking for a towel now. Here comes the team manager, is Lane Aaron, running onto the court, doing a great job. Great job, Lane Aaron. Her brother Ben's a freshman on the varsity team. She's uh, dude, she's been in this program a long time, from Don to to Will, now to Ben. Jeez, that's probably one of the most important pe people in Coach Cofield's program. Making sure all the players are hydrated and have the towels. She is the, she is the longest uh, standing teammate of Coach Cofield. She's been there the whole time. All right. Bryce Clifton gets it to Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill, the junior, guarded. He drives in. Ball swings to Olin Anderson. Olin's going to feed Rodney in the blow post. Five guards on the floor. Owen Anderson looking to get an entry pass into Cam. Cam, great up and under move. Cam's just too strong. Ben Bingley had nothing to do, nothing but to stop. That's a two-point game with two minutes left. Edwards goes around Rodney. Scoop shot, no good. Rodney Hill's rebound. He feeds Owen Anderson. Owen's going to find Bryce Clifton. He shot fakes. He steps into a three ball. Oh. And it's no good. Cam Harrison's rebound. It's good, and we're tied. 61 up with 145 left. What a great quarter by the Gators. we got to keep it rolling. Let's lock in on defense here, White. Let's go. 
The crowd's on their feet at the field house on West Side. Edwards is directing some traffic. Owen Anderson on Griffin. Griffin to the rim. He's Eyes fouled. on the floor. That's got to be on the floor. They're saying count the basket. Whoa! Uh-uh. No, sir. That's on the floor. Wave it off. All right, they override it, so the foul was on the floor. Yeah, that's right. Or did they? No, I don't think they did. What? All right, so Griffin's going to look for the three-point play. Remember, all free throws brought by our friends at Stout House Media. Man. I don't know if I agree with all that. They said the NBA. And Griffin makes it, and now it's a three-point advantage, St. Andrews. Cam's got it in low post. Cam Harrison with a rebound. And now he is fouled. Bryce Clifton, great job attacking an offensive rebound. The sophomores played a lot of minutes tonight. And Cam's going to go and shoot two from the line with the 111 left to play. That foul's on Bringley, 34. That's his second. Cam's free throw is good, the first one. He's going to shoot another. He gives himself a self-high five. Daps up a little bit with Bryce and Bo. And he's going to shoot a second. Cam's second free throw is no good. It rims out. And it's going to be white ball. Not out of bounds by Keegan Kingji. Kingji knocks that ball out of play. Remember, Kingji playing with four fouls. Coach Cofield takes a timeout with 111 in an inbound situation left. Wow, what a game we got going on. I hope, I hope that you're watching the finish of this one, wherever you are. We have a well of oh, a we ball got game. It. I think we got it working. The face cam. The Look face cam right here with us. Man, what a what a game we got going on, JP. I tell you what, man, we're having a blast. This is this is typical Gator basketball right here. Clawing all the way back, big second half. When Ryan Swanson comes back, this team's going to be a force to be reckoned with. They are, and I know Coach Cofield can't wait to have him back. All right, Coach Cofield, what's he drawing up from this inbound situation with this team down just two? I think they're looking to get the ball, I'd say, to Bryce Clifton here for a spot up three. Clifton or Spence, I think that's the go-to key right here. Five or 21, get him the ball. I don't know, Cam Harrison has the hot hand, 13 second half points, maybe getting him the ball. He and Rodney Hill have had a big second half to get the Gators back in this ball game. We can't wait to bring you the last one minute and 11 ticks left in this one. We're here, the West Side Fieldhouse, we're live. Here we go. All right, so a little stack look. A little stack option, both Spence at the top of the key, people moving around. Cam's going to get it. Oh, he misses the handle. Now he gets it back. Cam's going to swing it to Bo. Bo to Bryce. Bryce attacks. Owen to Rodney. Back to Owen. Back to Rodney. Oh, Rodney's pass is intercepted by Edwards. He's going to pull it out. Got to play the foul game here. Got to play the foul game here. Yep, they get Rodney with a push right there with 44.7 ticks left. I don't think we're in the bonus yet. That's only the second team foul for the Gators this quarter. Gators got a lot of fouls to give. Coach Cofield looks like he's giving the foul sign. That ball gets knocked Ooh. down. They're going to call a foul on Rodney Hill again. That's Rodney Rodney's fourth. Rodney. That's his fourth. All right, Rodney's fourth foul. All right, Blaine gets it. He swings it to Griffin. Griffin pulls it out. That's back court. That's back court. Blaine's got it. All right, that ball goes to Edwards, and more time trickles off. Thirty seconds left. 
and they're asking for a towel. I imagine it is sweaty right where he went that court. Lane Aaron doing another great job. Man, we got the dandy of a finish lined up for the last 30. Man, Gator's got to find a way to get a steal here. Can't send number three, Edwards, to the line. Can't send him or 22, Bland. All right, the officials are at the scores table. They're looking at the book. They're talking one and one. They're saying it's one and one. Wow. All right, Edwards is going to shoot at least one right here. All right, this free throw is brought to you by our friends at Stout House Media. All right, the sophomore Edwards from the charity strike. It's a live ball situation, and his first one is good. All right. Edwards bounces it a few times, going to shoot it again, and the second one is good as well. All right, Rodney to Cam. Back to Rodney. Back to Cam. Gators need a quick basket here. Two or a three is fine. Don't need a three. Bryce Clifton to the lane. His shot is good. Coach Cofield gets a timeout with 15 seconds left. Just like that. Just like that. That's a great basket. 15 seconds left. Gators down one possession. A three wins it. A three wins it. A two gets us some overtime. Some free basketball tonight on that Tuesday night from the field house on West Side. Man, it's out. It's awesome. It's awesome. What uh what do you think what do you think Chance is saying here in this huddle? I think Chance is talking about, hey, let's don't let Edwards get the ball. Anybody else but Edwards. Anybody but Edwards, I totally agree. Can't give him the rocket. It's still this point a one in one situation, and I, I really do believe that he wants anybody shooting it but but Edwards, but you you know, at the same at the same regard, I think that you you can't let Rodney fall out of the game right here. He has four fouls. So he's probably looking at his roster and deciding who has fouls to give. All right. You look at you look at the uh, at the stat sheet. Hill's got four, Clifton's got three, Anderson's got three. Spence only has one, so maybe Spence is your guy here. Cam Harrison has none, so 23 or five. Man, what a game! I I hope all of you have been tuning in tonight have enjoyed a great one between two teams jockeying for position and region play. Owen Owen on Edwards here. They're going to heave it. Bland's got it. All right, Bryce Lifton gets the foul on Bland. Only one tick off the clock. I think Miller Pope coming in maybe for uh, rebound support here. We're saying that's five fouls on Bryce Clifton. Interesting. Have yourself a night, Bryce Clifton. Sophomores played some big minutes, made some big shots, and this one attacked the, attacked the rim really well. All right, Bland's going to shoot a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a live ball situation. Bland's first one is good. Bland's second one is no good. Rodney Hill with a rebound. Three will tie it. Feeds it to Owen. Coach Cofield calls a timeout. Great with timeout. With 7.4 seconds left in this one. Great timeout, Coach Cofield. Going to draw out the perfect play for your three-point shooters. Got to look for Bo Spence here, number five. Number 23, Cam Harrison's also been hot this half. And so has Rodney Hill. So, so is Rodney Hill. So uh, if you're over there in that St. Andrews huddle, you got to be thinking there could be three potential guys that could touch this end of the game situation. Bryce, Cl Bryce Clifton being out right now hurts. He's a great three-point shooter, but we've got plenty of them on deck. you got to thank the Coach Cofield and Coach Swanson over there drawing something up nice on that whiteboard. Absolutely. Tie this game up to, the, to free basketball. Absolutely. You gotta be, Coach Cofield's got to be super proud of his guys. Down big double digits in the second half. Claw their way back to get in this ball game. 
regardless of the outcome, I think it's just something he believes his team can continue to build on head into region play. That's right. St. Andrews sending out all their bigs, their best defensive players. Here we go, seven seconds left. All right, Rodney's got it. Ospins gets it, he's guarded tightly. He's gonna step into a three ball, it's no good. As he crashes into the table. All right, and that's the final from the field house on West Side. That's St. Andrews gets a big region road win, 67-64. I tell you what, I think there's going to be a lot of teams on this Bulk Academy uh, revenge tour. I think uh, I think Trinity's one of them. I think St. Andrews is one of them. When uh, when Ryan Swanson comes back to play, I think the Gators are going to go on a tear here that's going to be unmatched and seen by uh, by a lot of teams. I don't think they're going to want to play the Gators coming forward. Absolutely. I know Coach Cofield's team's looking for a little bit of rest over the next day or so. Their Friday night game got moved uh, for COVID reasons, so I'm sure that he's lo they're looking forward and they're really thinking about. You know, get those legs back underneath them for a big game at home against Savannah Christian on Saturday. And you know, if you're St. Andrews, you got to be proud of the win. You know, beating a shorthanded Gators team, you know, you got to give props to them. Um, doing a good job. They got a great team. But, you know, when you're down your best player, uh, you know, one of those things. Always going to happen. Always going to happen. Um, Gators got to come back on Saturday ready to roll. And. We'll be here live from the West Side Fieldhouse. It is. What a night. So, recapping it. The girls, big win, 58-32. The boys, a tough three-point loss, 67-64. Please tune back in on a Saturday. Shout big out matchup. to uh, our buddy Jordan Triplett uh, from Frederica, the great running back. Uh, incredible athlete. Great game, B.A. We appreciate you tuning in, Jordan. Uh, I'm sure we'll see you up here at West Side Fieldhouse here soon. And... Uh, I think that about does it for us. That does. I'm Andy Woodard. I'm JP Padilla. We're signing.